Oke. Yo, friends, good evening, all 19 of you joining the live feed. Uh, today, Bobby is busy, uh, so is Thomas, so it's down to Tana and me holding the fort. But we do have a special holding guest. <laughs> we are holding the fort. We're holding the fort. Oh, well, I'm not talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> Today's special guest, we have... Uh, we have Mike Yap from DNA Tuning who's joining us. So uh, today, besides asking your usual car buying questions, you guys are also welcome to ask us about car tuning questions. Uh, so let's let's run through the early early audiences. We have uh, Theophilus. Hello, Theophilus. We have Srita. Ah, welcome back. Glad to have you with us. Two more weeks to Chinese New Year Eve. Yeah. So Panistons with us. Roshan's with us. Uh, D works it with us, and uh, yeah. So, so how's everybody doing? What's Mike, up, how's up? the new shop? Uh, okay, uh, coming along. You know, uh, ah. you know, we are still looking for manpower to join us. Yeah. So am I actually. So am I. <laughs> uh, so am I. Uh, very, very. I'm, I'm, I've thus far been quite fortunate with manpower in the sense that, uh, yeah. the two staff that I've hired. Thus far, yep. they have been dependable. They have been willing to work. Uh, I can now trust them to open and close the shop in my absence. So that is a great thing. Uh, very thankful for because like now Mondays, I will leave the shop a little. I come back home and prepare for the live show. So yep. uh, recently, I added a third member to the team. Tomorrow, yep. I will have another two coming in for trial. So wish me the best. All the best. Brilliant. Brilliant. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, how's your hiring going, Mike? Uh, not very good, lah. You know, I oh. can't can't get mechanics. You know, and uh, I'm also actually you know looking for salespeople as well, lah. Yeah. yeah, as well as technicians, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So in hey, both fronts, I'm looking for people. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. So so I guess um New Year new. Resolution new. Uh, how is Bobby? Bobby is somewhere. Bobby can't join us today. Okay. Mm. Uh, live show from the shop. Maybe lah, but at night a bit difficult. La. Yeah, a bit difficult. Yeah. I did think of that before, but it's yeah. a bit difficult. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, guys. So today, um, I guess today we've got uh, Con, we've got myself, we've got Mike. So we can go a bit more technical if you want. If you got questions on yeah. car buying. Uh, yep. Car repairs. Yes. Things that annoys you. Uh, things that already we thought about. You know what could what could be the issue and how you go about solving things. Uh, we can share. Uh, I'll share my story for the day about ah. um, solving problems. Like, you know, so a lot of times when let's say um, you have a problem with your car and and your mind goes like, oh, you know what? Um, cooling. cooling is probably a big a big example. Like, you know. Yeah. So my MGF. This is a story. Yeah. So my MGF. Um, it was earlier. It was leaking um, coolant because older cars have the the, the uh, coolant will go to the heater core. Heater core is in the, in the AC. It goes yep. in and cycles back. So mm. uh, I a bit engine, so it goes my back. Leak, so stop it. In. Stop mm. it. In, then uh, still got issue. So now the issue is what I call that they it gets gets hot. You close it. There's still what they still there's still I would call um, coolant there, but it gets hot. So we go on the next step. We do a uh, pressure test and you find where the leak is, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, and then, or you go on the pack, or is there a blockage? So you do a pressure test to see, you know, if you, if you, if you pressurize, is the, it's circling back to, uh, to, the, to the system and, it, and it's going back. Then you do a check to see what to call your valve is opening up when what to call it gets hot. So I think those kind of things that happen. And a yep. lot of times when you go to a shop, they'll say like, oh, uh, overheating, uh, oh, cannot overhaul, uh. you know, gotta overhaul. Mm. 
So mm. I think that's just the things I want to do. I guess I hear like, some, some story. Please share with us, and we can probably talk mm. about the stories you have. Yeah. Uh, because obviously, Mike is here. Mike has a lot of experience at dealing with cars, and um, it's important to have like a thought in your mind about solving a problem. Because yep. it's about because you know the car history more than the mechanic. Because you're going to yeah. mechanic, 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 mechanic A, my engine over there. Mechanic C, oh, yep. not overhaul lah. But he doesn't know the history that you have because he's gone to the point. You have gone to the point of having the car for one month, two months, six months. So you know what happened with six months. I can piece together a story, lah. You know. So that's the story mm-hmm. behind the car when it's repair happening. Okay. And so you know, story. yeah. And also the thing is that right. Um, when it comes to car maintenance, right. Once you, once you live the banker life long enough, right. You develop your own ability to diagnose the cause. And in fact, yep. you will know that some symptoms, nine out of ten times, are caused by caused by you know these one or two things. What you, yeah. you cannot run away. What talking about yeah. cause effect? I want to avoid somebody from having making a bad mistake. Should you buy a piano? I don't know. I, I've got bad. I've got. I mean, fifty grand. You have a wide variety of choices. Um, uh, that I would. I think it would be great if you can. Um. Clarify if it's 50k you're taking a bank loan or if you are buying, uh, why buying cash, right? Say yep. maybe your parents are giving you 50k to put in the car, something like that, right? So, uh, 50k, 2016 Tiana. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's a particularly bad choice, but you have a lot of, a it's lot of choices. Different. I think, right. I think for, for the car you're getting for the price, it's uh, a date. The car is dated because you know, yeah. I've seen like I'm looking online now, two or fifteen oh, models. Okay. Uh, he's, yeah. he's, uh, he's, he's uh, elaborating. He's mm. buying cash. He wants a reliable car. Yeah. Mm. Woman, woman, my first pick, lah. Honestly speaking, because I know uh, someone who owns a Tiana before, and yep. uh, <laughs> and 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 yet I think about horror stories about the car. But what the yeah. car is and and the quality and what you get, it's, it's not up to scratch, lah. You know, I mean, think think about this for a while, lah. Eh? Um, if you get, let's say, um, maybe a F10 that's sorted, uh, 2014, you know, mm-hmm. what 70k, 80k, 2014, ah. I think that was... hasn't hit 70k yet. Uh, yep. 70k are 2012. 2012 once it's 70k the early oh, seen, the first batch 60k 2012 the first batch N20 engines are at about 70k mm. the yep. six cylinder NA ones are, are even less are even like 60k yeah. 65k yeah. yep but, but for, for a fresh gen maybe not an F10 lah but, but but the point is there's a lot of car you can get for the money um, uh-huh. and, uh, especially if you are talking about buying cash right yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that Renault fluence half the price of a Tiana There you uh, go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're not yeah. Nissan same same ma. <laughs> but but somehow I I wasn't impressed with the, the Tiana, and I just felt that uh, as a platform as a car, what it gives, it's nice, it's comfortable, looks it's big, but it yeah. didn't seem to me like there's nothing special. Quite, about the car. that 2016 Tiana is quite bland. If you talk about the previous Gen one, which is Ironically, even more uncle, but that one had the you know it the USP of being you know. There's a luxurious feel to the car, you know. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Today's yeah. bargain, uh, I think, right now, it will be Thomas Yap's car. Thomas Yap is selling his um, yes. Uh, yes, Ford yes. Mondeo, the Ford yeah. Mondeo, yeah. Uh, 2012. Yeah. 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 It's a 2012. Yeah. It's a two liter, 200 horsepower. 240 horsepower. Uh, yep. right. Just when we're dealing with, uh, obviously, with corn here. Yeah. Um, yes. Cash buy, you know what? All the power, it looks fantastic. Yeah. I'll send a picture to uh, to uh, to Chia. Doesn't have. Yep. You know, it's. But then you still got, you still got twenty two thousand. Yes. Yes. Very cash. And, and, to and the thing the is that Thomas <laughs> is Thomas is the biggest thing for you already. The gearbox. Yep. So you yes, don't have gearbox. to worry about gearbox. Yeah. Correct. Right. Correct. The only thing you worry about is the steering rack and the and the turbo mm-hmm. only. And that day, yeah. I I after after we finish with the car, I he let me drive it. Oh my God, that car is so nice. The you know the 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 the, the, trans, the, uh, mm. the engine it pulls so nicely. Uh, mm. actually the engine right, if you pair it with that six speed gearbox with that the DCT right, it, it's very sprightly. You know because yep. I compare it with my S Max that runs the same engine on a top converter gearbox right, 
it the performance feels a bit blunt a blunted in comparison yeah mm. and you know it's fully it's fully done up it's fully clean up thomas even took the time to come to my shop and polish it himself so yep. you are buying a car that 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 is you know fully fixed good looks good as new right 28 grand you can keep up with a with a bmw easy easily more than that, more than that yeah. because it's, it's quite powerful i mean I, I think a base a base model 3 series would have a hard time catching up i mean obviously because the weight yep. is a bit lighter but uh, other than that, power wise straight road you know what it's, uh, it's up there uh, i was there yeah so, and the engine yeah. is good you know on this yeah, the EcoBoost engine. Oh, we had a field day cleaning the engine. I'll tell you that much. Uh. Wow. We had a field day cleaning the engine. Yeah, yeah. This car was, was, was a workhorse. And I, I was amazed, actually, uh, considering that the, the... Looking at... Because when I look at the, 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 the stains on the car, I go, wow. This car has went through some use, but it has held together very well. Thomas has... You know, of course, Thomas has sent the car for full service. Yeah. And all. before that, the... The, the pre from what he told me la, the that is of the profile that he maintains the car mechanically so you know the car will run does not break down but he didn't take really good care of the plan the father it was a company it was the father using for business and basically yes. it was another company yes. mm. all the maintenance is charged the charge pay 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 he just came on doing it like didn't bother about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. well look after yeah. <clears throat> well look after okay yes um share got some pictures want to share yeah so that's the car there Oh, Mondeo. What Mondeo? Yeah. This really is one of my favorite cars, man. Really one of yeah. my favorite cars. And then this was the uh, the one with the very good handling, you know, before they went soft. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Electro hydraulic yeah. so, power steering. Yes. Yes. Electro hydraulic power steering. The steering rate itself is actually, you know, known to to occasionally be problematic, but. <laughs> The okay, feedback sure. <laughs> is so nice. Yep. The, the, the way it drives uh, is so nice. So, so nice. 28 grand, right? Wow. Close it's, eye, bro. A, a lot of car for the money. Lah. A lot. That's a sure. lot. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's move on to the next uh, question here. <clears throat> yep. Oh, Roshan says, <laughs> we, we have been... We have been so we are uh, postpartum check was done last Saturday. Uh, last Saturday, uh, it's yeah. clear. So now waiting for the thumbprint to do, and then we will uh, do the you know three one eight, right? Yep, it's a three one eight thirty six. And manual. guess what? And guess what? Oh, it's, it's not manual, but guess what? It's also ninety seven. So I got I got ninety seven MGF, ninety seven Monster, oh. and ninety seven E thirty six. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> something about the year. Um, yeah. and yeah, so all your cars, uh, like the '97 cars, uh, yeah. you can go this for year. classic status, you know. Yeah, this, this year. year, this year, uh, all can go for classic status. One point eight, no point nine. One point eight is a bit too much, lah. You know, but yeah, one point ten, you know. Yeah, lah, yeah, lah. No, that one, that one, not worth to go for the hassle, lah. Okay, guys, yeah. let's uh, quickly <laughs> run through some of the questions. Uh, okay, firstly, Rayhan Roy, is it okay to trash a CVT gearbox? If you like to regularly buy new gearboxes, that's fine. Because yep. CVTs, they, they are not really built for high rev driving. It's meant for, you know, for the mid-range, pull high top, CVTs are great. But for high revs, constant high revs, not so suitable. I'll answer this different way. Like, it's never okay to trash any gearbox. <laughs> that's it? true also. That's true. Yes. Any gearbox, you can't trash. You see? You talk about dual clutch, dual clutch. Talk about uh, talk about just any gearbox, like you know, you trash the gearbox, you drop whatever. It's not going to uh, like it, like you no. Know? That's the reality of it. Um, newer gearbox. Like today I was driving the uh, morning the Kona. The Kona comes with um, inbuilt sensor. It's a seven-speed uh, dry clutch, dual clutch, mm -hmm. uh, dry, yeah. dry clutch uh, DCT, and it comes yep. to my if it gets hot or it thinks it's getting hot will give you a warning ask you to rest the car so mm. new car manufacturers have come to a point they understand cooling requirements so they've come to a point to mitigate the mm. issue they come with yep. these things like that. so mm. uh, other than that don't trash the gearbox lah, bro yeah and yeah. we have yeah. bobby to join us hey bobby hey bobby, hey, bobby. <laughs> oh, you're busy maybe still oh, i like busy. your hairstyle lah. i like your hairstyle I you, bobby. Bobby. <laughs> You can't Very artistic and Japanese. <laughs> no audio. 
<laughs> no audio. Bobby, no audio. He can't hear you, Bobby. You're muted, Bobby. Nope, we still don't hear you. Yep. Yeah. Because the question came for us. For you hear me? Yeah, now you hear yeah. yeah, now, now we can hear you. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to explain myself. Yeah. So my 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 friend who stays near my yak, one of Belanjami Makan, then he told me this restaurant. Then I search, oh, this restaurant very far, you know, near Cheras Sungai Long. Manatau, yeah. same name restaurant near my house. So <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like those Chinese, you know, like Taki restaurant. Like that. Like, it's yep. like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. So yeah, there, there I am. No okay. problem. Good to have you with us. Am I, am I interrupting? Am I interrupting? Not at all. Not at all. Not, not at all. We're talking about what? Huh? We're talking about something. <laughs> no, we're talking about trashing, is it, trashing is it a CBT okay? box. Is it okay to trash a CBT box? That's the question. Yeah. I think what he meant was, is it okay to drive it hard or not? Lah, not trash it per se. Yeah. So I far, guess, the uh, only CBT that I experienced that. Program it in anticipation of trashing was Subaru's one. Lah. Yes, yes. So mm, yes. the Subaru WRX, when you go into manual, it's a CVT. When you go into manual mode, it wouldn't upshift for you. Mm. That's, that's okay, pretty okay. Even Even huh? even a very poor CVT gearbox, uh, mm. all it does is it will complain, la, the sound will be complaining. La. But yeah. it, 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 you, can, you can try to trash the CVT gearbox. But it won't spoil la. It will just be like, eh, it will just make noise la. That's about it. Uh, yeah. I, 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 think a lot of Nissan owners won't agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Tiana is different. <laughs> Tiana is different. Earlier on, I said, but Tiana already. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I once, I once drove the the X Trail, the second gen X Trail to pick to the airport, uh, right? All right. I remember, uh, and I remember, I was running late la, You know, on uh, the yep. highway, and I was, I was like, okay lah, let's let's make it under to floor it. I floored it after about five or so minutes, right? I was like, no, la, I'm in a rush, but I can't put the car through this. La. Let's ease off. <laughs> I, I give you some insider intel. Uh. Huh? Ex Tanjong people told me one. Uh, Jap yeah. Nissan Japan engineers know that their Xtronic got problems. Mm. Oh, damn. Oh, they knew about it. Mm. So they knew nothing much they can do. <laughs> they knew before launching or after launching? Huh? They knew it's, before it's, launching or after launching? Uh, no, 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 no. All this while, wow. Extronic, Extronic, so many years already, right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Yes. they knew about it, 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 it having the, 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 the reliability issues, but, but, but word has it, has it that nothing much they can do except continue selling it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 No, no okay. wonder. Lah. You know, you got so, so many problems con, with it. So you see called why my old Amera is good? <laughs> because oh, no CVT. But, but your Almera is a 1.5 liter engine with a lightweight body. You know, it's not it's not a heavy load on on your CVT, I would say. No, it's a yeah. talk about that. For speed, oh, top of the bell. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so that's why I can do, can, can, can do grab, no issue. <laughs> the car won't yeah. Be <laughs> yeah, conventional four speed. Conventional Sorry, speed. It's, <laughs> it's the kind of car where, where you like, you, you just drive and review. We never bothered about us. Hey, what's the game box? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Bobby, the, the Subaru one uh, will let you hit the red line, is it? The Subaru, yes, uh, yes. And, then it and then it wouldn't upshift. Wow. wow! Until you, until you hit the pedal, until you pull the, like, the trigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe there's a limit, or maybe there's. I know that time when I when I drove it, I put it in manual mode. I just don't upshift it. The bugger really, ah, oh, really doing that. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Okay, got a question from Rich Abregas. P sixty five to five a good car a good car used car I guess is uh, and how much do I need uh, for repairs? Con, what say you? Uh, well, 
E60, if you're if you're a fan of the E60, now is a great time to buy because the prices are are like I think you like rock bottom, man. For you can buy, you can have your choice of very very good examples for less than thirty grand. It came down and then the last two years it's been stagnant, huh? Yes, right? it has held at yep. that level, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, five two five, you can't really go wrong with it. The only point of concern is the active staring. But the other day. An X E sixty owner educated us. The problem with the active steering, right, is a sensor disc behind the steering wheel that reads your steering angle. Yep. So, so the thing is that that steering disc, that sensor disc, gets oxidized over time, mm. and it sends error codes into the control unit. Okay, then when yep. you go to the workshop, right? Workshop say, oh, error, change steering rack, bah, four figure bill. Oh my but god! But actually. But actually, we were, I was told that all you have to do is just to clean that disc and the error will disappear. So, yeah, it's I mean, of course, the, the, but the rest of it are the normal BMW things that you need to take care of. If you're buying the pre facelift with the M54 engine, uh, watch out for the Disa valve. If you are buying the either engine, cooling system, refresh the cooling system, can't go, uh, and not, uh, take care of all these things and you'll be fine. I was, I was always oh, yeah, waiting for that. I don't know, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Mike, got any experience on this car? Um, uh, mainly as what Con was saying, you know, and also uh, the suspension. Uh, yeah. At this age, but, uh, you have to renew the suspension components. Uh, you know, the it's wear and tear, all that one. Uh, all the wear and tear parts. Uh. It's wear and tear, long. That's yeah. the. Mm. Yep. Actually, Even suspension is usually right? the most painful part of owning a BMW, like even for the most painful. Yes. But, but then, but then I, I just want to say that wheel yeah. wear, you need to upgrade them. I mean, you need to replace yeah. them. Yeah. But if you're buying, but if you're buying this car of someone, let's say who has been using it daily, right? Yeah. You, you, mm. the buy the guy take care of the car using it daily. Then you buy, you yeah. just continue to use it daily, right? All right. Because cars, yes. cars right. are so old, right? There is no there's no gauge as to what the 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 inherent conditions are because it's already so old right. it's highly dependent on the previous owner so better right. get one that that the owner has been using it you know then mm. then it should be safe because that owner would have rebuilt the suspension would have changed all right the, all right the yeah. radiators, you know stuff like that mm. yeah yeah too old get it in yeah get it inspected lah. yeah that's important yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah that's why we have you know evo club here you yep. know get it inspected do a thorough yep. bpi they will tell you what what you need to right do yeah before you buy before you yeah. buy yeah just get it inspected. do your research uh. do your research uh, mm. th wong ask um, uh, th wong Co ask the new g30 lci five series he's been he loved it uh he can only afford nine year loan should he take one <laughs> <laughs> Tana, uh, me and Tana are fight already. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, G30. Well, no. CI. Hmm. Yes, Tana. Tana trying to say. <laughs> my, my, my only thought process is the fact that yeah. the Altair just came out. You're talking about another four years in the in cycle. Um, mm. Price, the value of nine years. I guess if you're holding the car for five years, then okay. La. Mm. Seven, though. No, no, but I mean, with this car, I'm saying because the the next model will come out, let's say, in, in about four years. Uh, the yeah. next model, the yeah. price will drop. Yeah. So there'll be a dip. There'll be a dip there. So because yeah. it's mm. annual loan, you need to be able to afford to pay at least five years more for you to be able mm. to sell the car and move on. That's the only thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but, this, so, compared to a, but this compared to, let's say, a Mercedes, the Mercedes yeah. is even more, even more behind. Right? Yeah. Make so sure you really, really like the car. Yeah, you must love the car. Yeah. And then go yep. for it. Not. Mm. My, my answer is more of like just of able to sell the car in five years. That's the only, only concern I have. It's not about anything yeah. else. <laughs> when, did yeah. the, when did the G30 LCI came out? Uh, last year. Last, last year. year. Mm. Mm. Last year, at least G20. until 2024. Mm. 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 Yep. Uh -huh. 24, the new model will come out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Uh. Yeah, man. It's, it's a lot better. better. Yeah. And LCI, now the, the 
you no, know, and and for and for what and this time, right? The rims are so nice. The, the they actually chose a good set of rims for the car. Wow! It made it made the pre LCI yep. look like previous previous generation oh. like that. Yeah. Suddenly, yes, yes. Like, find the LCI looks mm. like a different car compared to yes, yes. yes. So All the other yeah. BMWs, yeah, like like F the P, yeah. Okay, like mm. so it's LCI, yep. yeah, LCI, you can't tell apart. This one, it's so different aesthetically. Yeah. Right? Rims. This one is. This one is like a, a refresh, a total refresh. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Bye, bro. Ch Wong Ko. Bye. You love it. Buy it. Yeah. So what you look, at look at that. So beautiful. And it's no slouch. So. Okay, yeah. Question for Mike. How do you differentiate V and W? Two V is W, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this one, uh, I will explain the W side. Lah. Then I will let Bobby explain the V side. Because <laughs> <Wow. laughs> the W is actually, uh, if you understand the Volkswagen VR6 engine, lah, you know, that's where they join two VR6s together. You know, All right. Then call it W. Yeah. That's where the engineering started lah, you know, from the VR6 engine. Yeah. We still got that uh, 11 degrees or 15 degree angle on one bank of cylinder. So that's another V there. So on the other bank, you still got that V there. You know, that's why they call it W. Yeah. Mm. So okay, uh, basically, uh, it's four banks of cylinder. Let's say this is, uh, yes. oh, 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 got pictures. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's say good. this is wow, that was good. Yeah. good. Good, good, good. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so so what's 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 okay, V6? Yeah. This is a V6. Okay. Yes. Three oh, cylinder here. Yep. Three cylinder, one, two, three here. Another three yep. cylinder here, one, two, three. A V12 is connected like this. That's yep. a V12. A W12 is connected like that. Yep. Basically, a W12 is connected like that. Yeah, you can there you see go. that. So, yep. in a way, yeah. So uh V12 would give you a, I mean, W12 would give you a lot more space. Yeah. But V12, I believe, will be will be the smoother engine lab. Yeah. Which one? The V12. I believe V12 will be the smoother engine, in terms of the harmonics. Well, basically, you have. Wouldn't be the wiring to 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 work out, you know, mm. versus yep. I mean, it's both are twelve firings. So it will smoothen out the 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 yeah the how yeah. about yeah. sound wise uh the the P twelve will sound more like a V eight became bigger like that it's it's, it's more throatier W twelve will be more more balanced like a V six yeah but they want they were highly highly dependent on how the the exhaust so, is yeah. going uh, right. right how yes. the flows are designed right. Yes. Because with the V, the V, with the VR6 and the W, W12 uh, engine, uh, you know both banks are uh, your intake and your exhaust. Uh, you know the distance that it travels inside the engine uh, is different. Uh, yeah. Mm. On the three cylinders this side, and then mm. another three cylinders on this side, the intake and your exhaust. Uh, you know the distance it travels is different. You know, so yeah. the way the exhaust sound is very different. Yeah. It's very burbly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, Con, earlier we spoke about uh, Thomas's uh, Mondeo. So, is this Mondeo linked yes. to the S16? Yes. It's the yep. Ford EUCD platform related to the S60, S80, XC60, even the Range Rover Evoque. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Cornelius Ko, Ko Chifong asks, Hi guys, I'm planning on getting a loan for an MK GTI 211 212 model. Any advice or is it a good idea? Yeah, buy now. Still can get loan. Yeah. Mm. And MK6 GTI now is, is relatively quite affordable, right? It's like yeah, 40k. Yeah. So I it's, think they are I mean, about 50, 60, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's, it's, 60, it's, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's like taking taking loan to buy a MyV law. Yep. Yeah, it wouldn't burn you so badly even if it goes wrong. But for a shorter yeah. period, probably about a five-year loan. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, you have to take a shorter tenure, yes, because of the car stage. Uh, Robo, Robo, Robo Ghost P008 asks, Toyota Avanza 208 investment, 
What do you recommend? Expander. Actually, Bobby, yeah, you're right, Bobby. <laughs> Expander, I think, uh, the more I look at it and the road, uh, like when I drove it, it was like, okay, that's fine, like, so nice and all that. Like. But I see yeah. the road, I'm like, oh my God, it looks so good. It handles. It, it handles. The handling it is handles. Wow, I was blown away. Yeah. I was yeah. like, wow. Yes. The, the tuning of the engine and gearbox is actually not bad, you know. So yeah. it doesn't feel underpowered most of the time. It handles. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You but, can enjoy the drive. Yeah. Yeah. El Camino wants to do an El Pacino. Should I get a Mercedes S450? Any opinion about the car? I, I There's no reason new, well, uh, not to get new, then don't buy it. If it's used, then okay, because the new S class is coming already. Mm. So don't buy the S class now. Yeah. Yeah. If you buy the S class now at what, 700,000, you're going to lose a lot of money because the new one is it's just maybe one, two months away. I don't know. Hey, no, it's already launched, right? The current, the new yeah, S class. Yeah. Yeah. Launched already. Like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Already launched. <laughs> what am I thinking about? Yep. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I've totally forgotten the about Malaysia it. only hybrid, so yeah. yeah. Ah, but the S450 is, uh, is not a hybrid, right? It's uh, well, a Sprinter V6, I think. Is it heavy in Malaysia? Yeah. Yeah. It's in line 6. Uh. What's it's a the six price? Line. I wonder what's the price. Uh. The S450 is, is a V6 price. Yeah. Oh, it's not V6. It's, isn't it the straight six engine con? They, I I, rem, I sort of remember that this generation of the S class didn't get a straight six, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. 400k. Yeah, sometimes mm. the Malaysian specs uh, are different from uh, the rest of the world. Uh. It's a strange one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought Mercedes changed all to straight six, ma. They, they did, but this one, I think, let me just... It's still just the old engine, but but yeah. that old engine is still very good, right? That V6 is really good. Yeah. That yeah. V6 is fantastic engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Alan Tila asked, right. can I can see my F F13. Uh, sorry, I'm behind my videos. Uh, my videos are all piling up. I need to do my editing. <laughs> <laughs> I bought okay. a car almost a months now. Uh, I'll do the video. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's a nice car. Like, fantastic. Yeah. 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 I, I love it so much that uh, oh, yeah. wagon question. Mm. Well, my word goes to the Lavork. I don't know, Bobby. I'm never, I'm never a wagon guy. I like, I look at the wagon. It's nice. I love the look of the yeah. wagon. But uh, and I actually drive on the wagon myself. I don't know whether I'll fit. I, I do. I don't know yet, like, Whether I'll fit a wagon. As a person, <laughs> like, like all car guys, I uh, see wagon like wow, wagon is nice, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, but Mazda it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks I, love I love my wagons. I love my wagons. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I love mm. my wagons. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of wagon, but I don't know whether I will drive wagon or not. You know what I mean? It's like a picture you see. Uh, like, Beautiful. Yeah, the Mazda six is a very handsome wagon. Uh, uh, beautiful. Very, very handsome. And, and it's actually. A lot bigger than the Lavoque, right? Yep. Mm. Yeah, mm. Lavoque is, is a more it's a more car guy kind of, you know. Lavoque is a WRX wagon, la, Let's put it that way. Depends yes. on the engine, I would say. If you if you buy a recon mm. unit with a two liter turbo, then yes. Oh, the one turbo. Wow. Mm. <laughs> yeah, not very tasty. Uh, the engine one point six yep. turbo. Yep. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and also so the interior know. quality la. the interior quality oh, yeah. Mazda, oh, better, oh yeah right? if you say so, interior you know. then Mazda 6 wins hands down man. yeah the yeah. yeah. low rent la, you get inside the car yeah. do you mean yeah. give me the Mazda la. so beautiful yes yeah. either the 2.2 or the 2.5 ah, Malaysia usually but one is a four wheel drive one is a front wheel drive right Malaysia only had the 2.5 Officially, la, you know, yep. oh, Mazda 6 2.5. Uh. Beautiful, mm. uh. you know, when Joseph brings out his Mazda 6 wagon, yes. uh. Ooh, yo. I tell you, uh, Tana, my, me and my wife now, uh, we we look at sedan, uh, a bit one kind one, you know, like, <laughs> eh. 
<laughs> wagon looks better, you know. Even my wife is like, Ugh, so then, uh, she, you know, that I, I think that day she was pointing at, uh, what car was that? I think it's a G30 three-phase stiff. Uh. Uh, mm. then, then I was like, I point at, then, then my wife is like, so then, no, what's the difference with a Honda City? <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> like, the box like that, no? I was like, wow, you're so empty, so then now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, night. Okay, so, let's help Black Jesus. Black yes. Jesus says, oh, sorry, um, who are you? Currently dry F3335. Wow. The more yeah. rational, believe it or not, the more yeah. rational daily drive for you now would be the 340i. Yep. No, or the younger brother, younger brother, the 340i. But uh, the the three thirty i uh, that engine uh, the new B forty eight two liter engine uh, yep. really beats the N fifty five way. Cannot yeah, fight yeah. the N fifty five. Cannot yes. fight yes. the way the yes. engine yes. Rev, uh, the, yeah. the response coming from an F thirty from an F thirty right the G twenty is right would be very harsh for this guy. Man. Uh, yes. Ah yes yes yeah. yes. The three forty i actually rides better. Mm-hmm. It has EDC, right? The three forty i. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It rides really well. Even yeah. sports mode is comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean for town use, uh, the B forty eight, uh, yeah, when I jump mm-hmm. into that car, it's like, oh, yo, this this fella is so nice. Yeah. The B forty eight. It sounds it sounds much more livable compared to the N twenty engine. The sound, the older yeah, 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 sound. I yes. don't. The older engine sound of the BMW was just. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't very pleasant. It was. It felt very mechanical. The N twenty, um, after a number of years, right? They all start to sound like diesels. Yeah, yeah. They, they're very mechanical yeah. sounding. The B forty eight, which I have obviously in the engine, uh, it's just much more mm. smoother. It's nice. It's responsive. Yeah, wait, the B forty eight. Wow, two hundred fifty eight horsepower. I think yep, it, that time when I reviewed. The time when I review it, it's like, it's it definitely is faster than my three hundred twenty horsepower six series. Right? It's, it's, it's yeah, the, the six cylinder is lazy, you know, Bobby. Ah, uh. yes, the is lazy. Ah, uh, the mm. even last time my N fifty four also ah, uh, when I would jump into mm. the B forty eight, right? It's like wow, yeah. it's so revvy, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's not just about the horsepower. Uh. It's the way that mm. it delivers. Actually, it. that's why when I. When I reviewed the the seven series with the B forty eight engine, uh, the seven thirty Li, right? Wow, I was yeah. so amazed at how willing and what? eager the car is to go. You know, what yes. is the B forty eight? The the seven seven thirty Li. That's with the B forty eight two liter. Yes, yes, mm. two hundred fifty eight horsepower. The one yeah, that you nice. were impressed with was the X five, right? The X five with the uh, B fifty eight. Mm. Yes, X five. That was the B fifty eight. Would be the three liter, ma. Yeah, you, yeah. You, were, you were so you were so in love with the engine. They're like, oh, so yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> and the engine sounds beefy, you know. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, call me, yeah. Call me. Just, now, just now you talk about ride, uh, you look at his his F30 is 2014, you know, it's pre phase uh, So the pre phase yeah. F30 uh, suspension also crashy, right? Yeah, but it's it's you know, but I mean, yeah, it, but then again, it's, it's, it's not a busy riding car. It's not busy. The G20 G O I. M spot is busy. Yeah, you know, because it's uh, easy to live with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yep. Jiggly yeah. all the way. Yeah. Mm. Okay. V has a question. Land cruiser 300 gr I don't know. No, nope, I haven't driven one. Oh. Yeah. No. Next question. New Mazda 3 or new Civic? Wow. Oh, this one very difficult to I, I think the Civic will beat the Mazda 3 sales. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, one thing I have to say, uh, yeah. we have not driven the Civic, but I saw mm. the interior. It's a uh, it's a big improvement from the FC's interior in terms of quality, man. Of course. You know what I thought, Bobby? Uh, you know how mm. uh, BM uh, uh, how Civic and Three Series uh, always have got this almost like a link, you know. There's some sort of link between the Civic and the Three Series. Always, you know, when they come with a model, they'll share the light glass, something like always something weird, you know. Because, <laughs> Almost like the same second market. When when they came out with the G uh twenty three series, my thoughts is it's a nice car, but it felt a bit grown up. Mm. You know what I mean? 
the D20 feels more grown up, it feels more mature, refined, you know, whatever. The Civic also pull out now, huh? also grown up, mature, you know, whatever. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, this is really in line, you know, for them. So it's a yeah. mature car. Huh? I, I would say if, if I mean, for looks wise, I, I'm all all for the Mazda 3 hatchback. Mm. It's yeah, prettier. Of There's no question about that. But on, in terms of everyday usability, right, you cannot fault the Civic. It's interior, yeah. you know, Honda, you know, they will, they will, they will do the, but, but the mass granted the Mazda 3 interior is very practical though. Very, mm. very practical. But, but the rear seats are really tight. Uh, yeah. I would say yeah. if you are, if you are a more advanced driver, you can explore the, 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 the intrinsic stuff that Mazda built into the Mazda 3 to, to explore that kind of, Real wheel drive kind of feel, kind of handling. Uh, mm. the yeah. That, uh, yeah. You know, the Civic would be uh, Civic, well, but, 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 but all the reviews we heard, it, like, it drives like a European car now. You so, know, the, the I, I really like how they reorganize the dashboard into just two very yes. neat stacks. Yeah. What? If I were to give you a brand name, a uh, uh, corner, mm. okay, if I hide the logo, uh, what mm. interior do you think this is from? Audi. Audi. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. If I call the logo, right? Audi. Honda yes. is not the first first batch that comes to mind. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know how the, there's a bit of a octagon, rectangular shape to this. Yep. Hide the yep. bands, you know, that display out. Yeah. Lift and shift, man. You look at well, it. So nice it's, it's so, yeah. it's so yeah. VAG, la, the design. It is yeah. so VAG. Yeah. Correct. Good, la. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know that day I was chatting with a Honda salesman, right? And they were admit they were they were telling me that when they in, in their own internal evaluation uh, as yeah. salesmen, they feel that this is definitely a better car, but it's a more difficult sell because the design is not as loud as the Civic FC. Civic ah, FC sells ah. itself because of the design. So I think this it one. No, this no, no, one, yeah, this one the salesman was saying to me, right? This one to, to close deal, they must bring the customer for test drive. Oh. Uh, this is a more mature this, Civic, uh, not yeah, the playful, yeah. not the youthful, playful mm. Civic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah the Honda I, plan already ensures sales, la, right? right. Mm. Yes. Mm. If they can sell the Accord Dana, they can sell anything. La. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when I, when I first saw the pictures of the interior, yeah. I said, "Wow, uh, this one, this one, uh, I can live with it, uh, You know, because of the yeah, usually, yeah. Sure. <laughs> thing is, right? usually Honda interiors are uh, the the materials are uh, are quite underwhelming one, but this one not. Yeah. You know, this one I touch and feel it quite solid, uh. They have but I just look at the pictures. Uh, you can see the mm. 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 So, yeah. Now, yeah. now the Corolla really feels like a segment down." From both the Civic and the Master 3. Looks yeah. low rent already, yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh, like all the car manufacturers, because as you said, like it's all about technology, what you put in, they go to Bosch, go to Continental, they buy something and they put it together, they get a car, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Like like we, we drove that corner, and I was surprised at how much of technology advancement is in the corner at that price range. You know? So so like it come to a point that all the cars will be very similar looking, modern looking, then what is it to differentiate to make it one better than the other? Then you've got an Audi versus a Civic. How long will it take Civic to become as good as a German car? Mm. How long? <clears throat> but if you ask me, uh, Dana, mm. back in the 90s, uh, the Civic was yeah. just as good. Just compared as good as it? Yeah, just as good compared to some of the German mix. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, back in I, I remember back in those days, the yeah. Civic One Point Six owners talk yeah. talk both about how they smoke three one eight eyes. Well. Yeah, it's got <laughs> double wishbone suspension. Eh. You know, oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and the All car drives. Well. Yeah, the car drives well. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that yeah. era, one point mm. six Honda engine, Tapa one point eight BMW engine. Yeah, Even yes, news, ma, easily, <laughs> easily at uh, the era. Yeah. yeah. One is safer, obviously. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, question about meters again. Uh, T2I good enough? Uh, because now it is to me. 
to me even without the digital meter it, it was a, it was a good enough package hmm. Hmm. honda accord 218 2.5 versus e-class 216 2.1 how high is your threshold for pain? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Two point one blue tech. Uh. Uh, as a used buy, right? I think I think the E class may be a better bargain though, because how low? Because you can't. I don't think it can dip anymore. Right? I I wouldn't want that blue tech engine lah. I wouldn't want that. Yeah. Okay. Buy the accord. I wouldn't want that. You know when you run out of the 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 u ureas you what do you call that uh, the urea solution ah, yes yes yeah you yes. run out of that your car would your car would 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 have a fault and then top, your whole car would just shut down one you know oh damn it's yep. like what the hell is that way that thing is yeah. not needed in to run the car that thing is just yeah. needed to emit yeah. cleaner you know yes. but if you run out of that of that you 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 real thingy right you're, you're, yeah you're at the at blue la, the at blue ah, at yeah. blue yes yes. At blue, yes 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 you need to you yeah. need to pee into your your fuel tank <laughs> yeah 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 it's yeah, it, yeah. it's it's stop gap technology at, at, uh, really yeah and, gap. and also uh the mercedes diesel engine uh it's so crappy uh, in, compar in comparison to the bmw diesel engine you know, there's no mm. comparison uh. mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the crdi engine uh, is pretty bad uh, comparison wow. yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other day I, I was i was in a shop and i saw a new to od f30 and i was surprised how quiet it is even used the engine is actually quite mm. quite BMW. Yes. Mm. Especially the B47 engine. Yeah, oh, yes. yes. The B47 mm. engine. Quiet, refined. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Great so, talk. Talking about diesel and petrol, Porsche Cayenne 214, diesel petrol. I know Porsche. there are two work for petrol right off the bat. Yeah. But... I, I think the diesel is something that um, I mean, Bunong has one. Uh, yep. Bunong has the diesel. And yes. it's really fantastic. Um, it says it's uh, as smooth as a petrol. Yes. Powerful. Yep. And but to be frank, right? 2014 got a, got got a quite a few petrol engines, right? Yeah. Yep. That's the could be a, yeah could be V six. Yeah, four point eight turbo, yeah. and then there's also the three liter turbo. Right. Mm. So it depends which engine lah. Yeah. But for yeah. the diesel, you got the three point oh and the four point two. In fact, today one of my customer came in with the four point two. Brilliant. Uh, the V8 <laughs> engine, uh, yeah, the V8 engine, uh, the four point two TDI. Wow. Yeah, eight hundred newton meters of torque. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Uh, very rare la. those are very rare la. the four point i was more. i was hoping to see a q7 six liter v12 diesel for oh, you oh. <laughs> you know, they made it they, they oh, made yo. it back in 2009 ah yeah only q7 uses it ah oh, oh, only q7 ah ah six because liter v12 diesel yeah because the mm. The Volkswagen one used the V10. Uh. Then yes, yes, yes. Yes. That, that era of Volkswagen is crazy. Uh, the era, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. V10, VDI. V10, and that was the diesel. era they used the Audi diesel to go and race mm. in Le Mans. Uh, where they won. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the era. Those were the time. Uh. Yep. And then, of course, diesel gate happened. Uh. <laughs> After that. <laughs> uh, they weren't engineered by Americans. Uh. Yeah. yeah correct yeah. Yeah. to me right if you sell what you send to test i don't call it a cheap. it's not it's the not way I, cheap. I, I if you sell what you send to test yes I don't think it's a cheap. that's what they did was no different from for from kids studying for exams exactly i mean right under yep. different driving conditions, your gearbox would shift differently. And when your gearbox right. shifts differently, you will have a different emission. 
Yeah, Correct. different load. Uh, yeah. You know, when you want power, exactly. the load kicks in. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. I, I was, you know, when, when the, when the, I remember when the fiasco broke out, I was like, what's the yeah. fuss? Uh? I, I thought everybody was doing that anyway. Yeah, because who makes all the ECU? Bosch, right? Yeah. The basic yeah. architecture yeah. is already there inside the ECU. Yeah. You know, I mean, you would be a pretty dumb engineer to not tune your car to match to to you know to 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 fit the to give the best results under the driving conditions. You know what's funny, Con? During the Volkswagen, that time they call it the diesel gate, right? Mm -hmm. At the yep. same period of time, GM has the ignition issue. Yes, which is whereby worse. the cars they were driving halfway. The, the loose out ignition key, like, like shake, 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 shake until the key switch off the car. Many, you know how many people died, Akon? 60 over people died. Wow. From steerings wow. that got locked because the car switched off and they died. And GM basically just get a, a, a slap on the wrist. That's it. Mm. And they focus their firepower on, on, on Volkswagen. I mean, you, you look at um, history, right? Americans have always done this to foreign car com foreign companies, not just yep. car companies. Yeah, in they've the always done that. Yeah, in the 80s, it was the Audi's unintended acceleration. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. They did the same thing to them. Toyota also came Toyota also came Correct. Yes. Wow, 119 now. That's... Oh, wow. 119. See? Wow. See? So many people died. And then they go and find Volkswagen like crazy amount, you know. Yep. And then they, oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, the Q7 still looks so good. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The first wow. Q7 is yes. Yes. timeless design, right? Timeless. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw Bobby, uh, wait, yes. as of morning, the car was slammed to the ground. <laughs> Damn cool, <laughs> right? So cool, right? Damn cool. So cool. <laughs> Oh, cool. oh my god! I was like, mm. "What is that?" Oh, Q7. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. But the Audi design language of that era is just yeah, man. Walter, Walter De Silva. Then the current Audi's design. Is it? <laughs> really yeah. awful. New, new or new Civic? New Civic haven't drive yet. But the T3 E2 18 is I wouldn't buy that because it's not cheap, it's about 180k around there, 170. But the price you, you can buy a you buy 200 k you can get a uh, 220 G20. So, why you yeah. want to buy a T3 E? What's up the point, you know? So, oh, so expensive, uh. yeah, it's, it's, it's about there, uh, 170 or 60 at least. Oh, it's more, more, same price as Civic, bro. Same price. Same price as Civic, 140 plus. 100 now, okay. Oh. 140 plus. Do you think of E218? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm sure three, it's wrong, three. Robbie. Bobby, I, I wouldn't trust it. I won't no, trust I just said a whole bunch of it. When you go and check, is it the, the year be wrong, man. trust me. I think it is. Uh, the, the, the usual... Is the is the last batch F thirty right? Yep. Yeah. 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 No, no. Last batch is two thousand nineteen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Around there lah, the price. Hmm. I'll be shocked lah if one forty lah we. Is 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 it is two eighteen will be lah. Because two two uh two thousand and eighteen lah, they only sold an M Sport. Yeah. And, um, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, that means no, no 330E? Uh? 330E right. M-Sport. Oh, M-Sport. Right. Look at Muda, a whole bunch of them. Uh. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't when you go there, the, the year would be different, Bobby. I mean, uh, 
I can tell you, I can walk up to any of this 130 one. I offer them 118. Then nego nego uh, close it at 120. I tell you, it's so easy. Yeah. Too many in the market. And too, too, too many in the market. Do 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 18 if you're if you're lucky. Uh what so your five year warranty. It's a good deal. Mm. I still want one year long, you left, left with one year warranty. Yeah. Mm. Okay lah. So which one would you get, Tana? Civic or 330E? You already get the 330E. I would, I would, I would get a 330E, uh, LCI, uh, like a like 217, 16, mm. for the low hundreds. Uh, not for this price, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not for the price lah. Not for all pretty, all pretty, I won't pay for the price lah. Pay lower. Mm. Um, Civic, never know, never try yet, so I can't comment. But it's a, but it's a brilliant, brilliant car, fantastic car. I mean, I love it. Civic, right? Is actually yeah. one of the few cars that are probably more worthwhile buying new. Because they depreciate so slowly, right? There's no real gains in buying used. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ron, Ron, I can make this an easier, easier question to ask. Uh, 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 140k new Honda Civic or uh, 140k, oh no, 140k new Honda Civic front wheel drive or 140k uh, Civic hybrid rear wheel drive? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Everybody will pick the rear wheel drive, right? So there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Just change the batch, and, uh, Bobby. Yeah, and don't forget, 330E is one of those rare cars hybrid with a handbrake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, one thing that surprised me about this handbrake thing, uh, because uh, I miss handbrakes. Yes. Like I came, I, I jumped into the M2 today, right? It came and do suspension. Yeah. yeah. I jumped inside the car, wanted to look for the electronic handbrake. Hey, this has got proper handbrake. <laughs> that yeah. is so nice. I miss it. I yes. miss it, you know. I tell yes. you that the feeling of you know doing a yes. turn and then pull the, the lever just to yep. slide the tail uh, so nice way. Yes. <laughs> dying breed, uh, this one is so dying breed. Yeah, like yeah. like every time I want to slide my six series, right? I need to stop the car, hold the traction control until it's off, and then full lock my steering wheel full throttle, then, then only I get a little bit of slide, you know. Oh. I, I can't do the slide in motion like, like cars with a handbrake lever. Oh, okay, what be, yeah? For some yes. odd reason, uh, cars T3E sold in 2017 early the year, came mm. with a six-year warranty. I have no idea why. Oh. I think because of the battery thing. You know, everybody yeah. Yeah. Really, so, it's yeah, so, so my friend bought, it was a 217 with a six year warranty. So go and check out the warranty. You may get extra warranty. Interesting. Already. Interesting, huh? Exactly. Mm. Same question for Mike. Does Tilly increase the item red line to the max? For instance, factory 1000, after tune 65. Will it be like for everything? Yeah, some uh, we do do it for some of the cars, but not, not all of them. You know, those that the engine is capable of revving that high, uh, you know, we do release a few hundred RPM more. Uh. Mm. So it depends on what model of car you have. Yeah, we do do it. Yep. Mm. Eugene P asks, which is worthy opponent from Japan to compete with the German sports van like the C3s? Lexus IS, Infinity Q50, Toyota Mark X, Mazda 6, Super Audi Rex, Lovok, others. Oh, Lexus for me. <laughs> um... From from a from a driving standpoint, I would say maybe the WRX, but from a comfort, nice GB inside interior, maybe the Mazda no? But I tell you uh, when you when you when you average or aggregate out everything, uh, none of them beat the three series. Uh. Yeah. None. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You no. Know, it's the gold none. standard. <laughs> yeah, it's the gold standard. None. Like you look at it, Lexus IS doesn't have a proper engine, right? Yeah. Mm. Infinity right. doesn't have a proper interior, doesn't have a proper steering. Doesn't have a proper steering. Yeah, Mark X doesn't have a proper engine. Uh, yeah. Mazda 6 doesn't have the proper wheels being driven, right? <laughs> <laughs> Subaru WRX would have been perfect, then they put in a CBT. Ayo. You know? So, yeah. so all mati. <laughs> none. We, and we haven't even go to infotainment system. Uh. Yeah. yeah. 
and I'm not. You cannot fight. Uh. All of them cannot fight. Sorry to say, uh, yeah. even, the, even the C class for me, I it turns me off a bit. Compared to cannot the fight. Uh. I, cannot fight. Uh. I guess, yeah. Yeah, cannot fight. I mean, you just drive them side by side. Uh. Yeah, you can really feel it. Uh. Yeah. 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 Three series is like it hits every point correct. Mm. All right, comes to all space, interior drive, you know, and yeah, the, actually, like, right. now that you mentioned space, the new the G20 is so spacious inside, man. Yeah, so spacious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. My, my, right. my, my, my wife made a comment. She said, no. she yep. made a comment after driving the G20. The G, uh, the G, uh, 20. Um, yeah. and then the FTP, I said, What is for the, for the, for the new 360E? Hold well, uh, up, the body roller, uh, the small body roller, uh, <laughs> like, what? Is it body roller? The word, I was impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Win. <laughs> Win. So, uh, so, what about you, I guys? Bye. 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 <laughs> Yeah, you know, they up the spec, right? Con, you know that they up the spec to have a full yeah, LCD now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full LCD, oh. uh, iDrive 7. So, I mean, honestly, even without the LCD, right, I thought that, you know, the, the 320i is something that is a perfectly usable day-to-day car. Con, my gripe is that is a very, very ugly analog dial. Yeah. That's true. Mm. That Look true. at the F30s analog dial, so nice. Yellow, yellow. Yeah. Ah, the G21. No, that that analog dial, right? It's as if as they purposely design it to remind you that hey, no. you didn't no, no. you didn't spend enough money to spec the digital one. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, that is I, like the only problem is that the digital dial is is uh, of a configuration that that we, we don't really like. At least I don't really like. Yeah. 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 I forgot. I forgot, Bobby. Yeah. If I'm not hmm? mistaken, the on button on the three series. You turn uh, the power button will go down up the, uh, the first the first model. The X1 it didn't do that. Mm. Ah. So, so and then the the T30 the, the T30E did do that. So for some reason uh, they chose to make the T30i as worse as possible. Like let me mm. put it here, make it worse. Keep on reminding you. Uh, so why? Uh, why? Spec <laughs> model. <laughs> yeah. And I still don't understand why the three series. Doesn't have an icon sync button. Ah. To sync the, the AC among all the zones. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how anybody lives and, on the button. And, and what annoys me with this current generation of BMWs, they move the lock button to the door and they don't duplicate yeah. it for the lower models. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Last time, so simple in the middle, right? Oh, so nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. You know, you know what? The Civic actually has lock and unlock button on both doors. See, the but the day, the day the the three thirty E has has it on both sides. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, no, Bobby, got a got. Hmm. It's on oh, both yeah. sides. Three twenty I know. Ah, uh, three twenty I won't have one. Three twenty I won't have that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, quick one. This one, Masa six lah. Huh? Very easy. Um, this one, uh, no challenge lah. Four five eight lah. Four five eight lah. The LC five hundred in terms of fun, uh, is is okay only. I mean, I mean, my my repeat handles better than the LC five hundred. Yeah. Put it that way. Now it's a much bigger car. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's mm. take this question. We missed it earlier. We we saw it, highlighted it, and we and we didn't answer it. Uh, mm. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, given a choice, I'll always I will always recommend the, the official an officially imported unit. But the cars yeah. this age, right, is really more about the condition and the and the care that it has received from the previous owner more than anything else. Yeah. 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 But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take the. I'll take the yeah. local spec. Brain yeah. has a point though. Japan may have speed cut. I don't know. All BMWs are speed cut to 250. Right? Can tune. Yeah. Japan's spec is speed cut to 180. I'm not sure if that's oh. No, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't think so. We, we tune a lot of the Japanese spec ones also. Only sometimes mm. they got the soft limiter, you know, on idling. You cannot go past mm. two and a half thousand, three thousand mm. because of the emissions, I think. Mm. Ah. It's, it's, yeah, but they don't have speed the, limit. The speed cut. The, con, uh, the 180 mm. speed limit, right? It's not a law, you know. Ah. It's, it's a gentleman's agreement between the car mm. makers back in the mm. 90s. Yeah, it's not it's not a, a law. And the Japanese car, your your radio, you 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 you, you cannot listen to this FM. All right, all right. So you can only listen to uh uh BFM BFM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So get the get the local unit. And moreover, I think your local unit, right? You press the SOS button, right? It's gonna call the correct number. The Japan one, I don't know what number it will call, you know, the SOS button. Yeah, <laughs> later, you, later you have to speak Konichiwa. Yeah, yeah. All right, get the local one. And 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 Napa leather anytime la, versus Alcantara. Alcantara is a man-made material. Yeah. yeah. Okay, come, 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 come. Apa lagi? How about this one? Vitro E or Vitro I LCI? Keep three years plus. I la for me. Three years plus. Uh. I'll take an E la. I like hybrid. Smooth. Yeah. It's just smooth la. It's nice to drive la. If three years plus under warranty, why are you care? Service yeah. free. Use it. It's so smooth, comfortable. You get pretty the, It's the it's the hardest depreciating three year law. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, but granted, hey. granted, I mean, it's a hybrid. It's a, it's a it's a hybrid. It gives you a, a another dimension of enjoyment. So by all means, by all means, yeah, man, yeah. But, but then again, Bobby, it also yes. was cheaper to buy from day one. Mm. So I you know like when they did the maths, uh, even on the Asus hybrid, uh, people say, oh, highly depreciated car, right? Uh, but when I did the maths. It wasn't far off because the original cost was also cheap to begin with. Mm. So, so but, but I want to ask Mike a question, uh, Mike. The yep. the two hundred fifty eight horsepower five thirty i engine uh, versus yep. the one hundred eighty four horsepower five twenty i engine. Uh, mm. Are they the same engine? Uh? No, the compression ratio is different. So the five thirty mm. engine is a different one from the five thirty i. Yes, really different. Yes. Uh, uh, but then uh, when once we tune it, you know, the, yeah. the horsepower actually stage two la, actually exceeds uh, the 258. La. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just has the capability. Yeah. 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 But then you know the 530 one, once you tune it, wow. Yeah. Mm. I think for three years, I, I will agree with Tana. For three years, yeah. 530 is brilliant. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh Wow, this one Eldrick. I need our help. Yeah, <laughs> I love to drive. I like coupe. I like coupe and, and a good engine. sounding engine. MX Five not good sounding. Oh. MX Five tak boleh dengar. MX Five coupe. Tak ada bunyi. Jangan tak ada bunyi. Loan. Brand to this one. Oh, this one he wants loan, nah. Oh, loan, 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 good sounding engine, ah. yeah, <laughs> Mike, awesome. Mike got a car with a very good sounding engine, about this price, <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm still know. waiting to see it, eh, my, yeah, la, connecting all my parts, eh, Okay, you know, okay, la, okay, I don't okay. like driving around when I feel, you know, this is not right, that is not right. Uh. Wow, I can't uh, wait to see it. Eh. Yeah, Me neither. Yeah, yeah, man. A major work needs to be done. Uh. Yeah, work good sounding <laughs> engine. Must it be a big engine? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he cannot answer you now. <laughs> uh, what do you have in mind, Anna? No, but I think a nice coupe, like a Mercedes C C coupe. You know, I like I like those are nice for family. I think yeah. he's and not I, starting a family. Well, so. well, not for the price, la. Yeah, for the price, no lah. One seven five. 
actually, but, 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 but this is an older car, la, you know, actually the F30, uh, right? You know, the 335i with the, the 335i, you know, yes. the 335 i F30, you know, with yeah. the proper exhaust, la, the car sounds damn good, actually. With the tuning mm. engine. Mm, very beefy sounding, the N55. You can get a 435i, la. Yes. Yes, very good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what about that price range, right? I think there was a four series convertible for sale. <gasps> wow. Remember? But 435i is brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. Good price. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and, uh, mm. and it's the last year to get a loan with the 640i. Mm. Yes. The brilliant car as well. Six forty. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah, six forty i. Yeah. Ooh, 45 the N fifty five. The N fifty five sounds better than the N fifty four. Ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Where do you yeah, find it? Car list. Yep. Four three five i. Then I I no oh, complaints nice. with that. Brilliant car. All right, come. Like you. Provided there's a C43 coupe, I uh, cannot be that price. Uh, huh? Oh, C43, we won't even look at Mercedes because they are just not at that price range. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but this 435 is 212, la, though. A big... Oh. That's yeah. knocking on M4 territory, eh? Hmm. Wow. Yeah, 212k. La. Wow, Mercedes is hmm. 280-290k. Yeah, Mercedes, mm. you know, uh, Mercedes uh, is like you look at the used car price, right? It's like how, you you look at how, how to justify buying, uh. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. TT, will be? Sorry. Hmm. TT. TT. Oh, TT. Yeah, uh, not bad. Not bad. He's, he's young. Said, yeah. Cool. But he says starting a family soon. No, no, said, no, no. Not starting. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So two yeah. seaters also jalan. Yeah, yeah. I think can find a four three five i lah, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, but, but, it's 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 good. Good. but it's two hundred and twelve. So the closest one would be a BMW six forty i. Yay! Yes, yes. Definitely. And that car, even until even until you start a family, you still get an old age. So, but family. but if you're taking a short year loan. Is uh then if it's, if it's a short short loan for the six series, long loan for something like a newer car, two sixteen. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All I right. think Ch Chiang found something, is it? Chiang. <laughs> Chiang will say. Yeah. Chiang wants to surprise us already. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that, oh. Nice. Oh. I. Nice. Oh. Yeah. But it's not a coupe. It's not a coupe. What age is this? I think 2012 love for sure. Yeah, this color. Mm. 2012. Mm. Oh, wow. This is the one with the beige interior, the modern trim. Mm. Mm. They call this modern trim. Yep. Oh, the era. Oh, with that bamboo looking inlay. Ah, you. Wow, this one is like. Oh, funny, yeah? Mm. Wow. Apparently, this apparently this uh this 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 trim combo is quite popular in Singapore. I was told. I mean, it's unique. Look at the color of the dials. Yeah. What is this car? Gray. Yeah. I think gray dials. Mm. But that very steering unique, wheel. Uh. <laughs> wow. That steering wheel. Very very, <laughs> very good. Wow, this one, uh, I tell you, uh, wow. you need to find parts uh, for your interior. Uh, you wow, really pull Bula, your hair uh. out. You oh. can't buy anything from uh, Lazada or Shopee. Uh. Forget it. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, but interesting spec. Uh. Mm, ah, interesting that's spec. Not a bit. Uh. Mm. Con, con. If you, uh, get, if you get this car, right, you go and... You go to Remus place and do a, a sticker yourself. BMW individual manufacturer. Oh. <laughs> oh, this one is under the individual program. 
Bobby Lowe's funny. Uh, at sorry? one point, I was at one point I was saying, ah, uh, alah, BM my interior all black, black, black. Now why she not exactly. in black? Either, uh? No lah, yep. prefer black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I think if this car you bought it, the steering alone is just the black. It looks nice. I think everything else works works okay. The, the all the inlay and the steering lah, change that. I I like my interior light colors. I like my interior light yeah. colors. No, this is nice, but that, that that's the steering. Mm. No, but know, just, me, you know, the, the funny part is right. They have the whole the whole car in in uh, in light colors. But the buttons, the switch gears are all black. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but con, good news. When the black yeah. color peel off, uh, it's going to match. <laughs> <laughs> because they peel off. The car. <laughs> well, I just found this the same car in Carly's. Apparently, it's a 2013 car. Oh, this one sound, sounds really yeah, good. good. This engine yep. sounds really good. Super charged. Yeah, Ooh. it pulls like crazy. This engine pulls like crazy. That hey, very find a, you know, it's very difficult to find an S5 with a V6. Most most S5s are the 4.2 V8. Yep. Correct. This is very, right. very rare. Yes. And it's a coupe. Wow, I would buy this. Uh. This is rare. This is rare. And this you, is one you, of those generations, right, where the S5 is actually faster than the RS5. Yep. Oh, Android player lagi. Wow, I need to visit DMP. Yeah. Uh, cantik. <laughs> wow. The original one is hey, pretty good. <laughs> hey, this one nice way. Look at the interior. Nice, My nice. God, you look at the interior. Then you look at nice. F30. You cannot fight away. Really yep. cannot fight. You look oh, at the wow. seats. Uh, the sculpture of the seats. This one. Yeah, man. You want to miss this car. Oh, uh, not the it. seats. Wow. Oh, I miss this car. I miss this generation Audi. So nice. So damn nice. This this S5 coupe, uh, the design. Uh, is oh, the timeless, bro. Timeless. Oh, the S5. Timeless. Hmm. You know what I would do? I would change back the front to the old Walter De Silva original front end design. That is so nice. Yep. This, yes. Uh, yes. This one also nice. Uh, uh, this one also nice. Uh. Yes. <laughs> hey, but this car... I'm looking at Tana, it's like, hmm, I miss Audi. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Audi is nice. Like, my, my stay, like. the, the way it the drives. Also, response of this engine, uh, Bobby. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Crazy. Look at the rim, Bobby. Yes. Yeah. I can tell everybody here, this car is sportier to drive than an RS6. Hmm. Serious. RS6 has less understeer, but it's not as exciting as as this B8 generation, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. Oh, so you, nice, you, uh. cross, you know. Bobby, uh, I, one thing yes? uh, I really respect you uh, is the way uh? you drive the S4 up Genting. Uh. <laughs> the way you drive the S4 up Genting. Uh. Oh, epic. Uh. epic. <laughs> you know, you know, I remember once I went with Bobby. It was for uh, yes? the uh, event. So I was in, I was in uh, the car. Very quiet. La. Went out. Something went up, you know? Uh, oh, something else. He said, okay, you're okay, okay? Yeah? I said, okay, okay. I have to be quiet. Like. Didn't say a word up and thing, like, you know? And he was like, he could anticipate that what the car will do and doing it. It wasn't, it wasn't the fact the car was, the car, the car was powerful, but it wasn't the car was handling very well on the road. He anticipated the mm. car will do this and he did that to counteract, you know? So, yeah, impressive. Like, okay. Actually, you guys weren't in my, I think my, my most... Con, were you in my car when I was rushing up in the XC90? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I tell you guys you that. You know, the Genting, whole right? Horizon team in the XC90. Yeah, Mike, wow. Tana, the yep. thing, right? The last, the last few corners until we reach the top, right? Yep. It's very steep on, right? Mm. Yeah. And then if your, car, if your car is tall enough, you can climb the inner apex, which the climbing is at yep. that one, right? Mm, yeah. I did that with the XC90. Every corner, <laughs> I was like, literally jumping over that 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 thing. You I know, I never thought I never <laughs> thought an XC90 can be driven with that kind of exuberance. <laughs> <laughs> you need the real travel to absorb all of that. <laughs> yeah. You know why? You know why, Mike? I was passing the gut house. Yeah. And then uh, my friends from Volvo. That time was the XC40 launch, man. XC40, yes, mm. yes. Yeah. Then they call me. Uh, Zah- Zah- Zahir called me. 
Bobby, where are you? I was like, why? Uh, Leonard, wait for you to 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 launch the car. I'm like, what shit? Oh, I- <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a crazy drive, lah. That was a crazy yeah, man. Drive. Yeah, man. XC ninety up the thing, like 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 wow. Gila. Yeah, yeah. Really, really <laughs> cutting the apexes, right? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Uh, <sighs> all right. <laughs> here from um, Romas and Jean has a C forty three. Wants to buy a two forty eight K H Sport. Any problem with this car? Thank you. This um, one is with a diesel engine, right? I think. Oh, it's a diesel. Yeah, ah. three liter would be a diesel. If not, mm. there are very few petrol uh supercharged one that came in that came in. Uh, I see. Because of the road tax. Yes. Correct. Correct. My my uh, my only surprise with this car is the rear seats though. It's so tight. Yep. Given the car is so big, the big. rear seats are so <laughs> tight. Yeah. Yep. It's a, I don't know. I I I I, I have a few friends who had it. They are happy with the car. Mm. So, yes, yes. Mm. but uh, but lately I've been hearing uh, from one of my oil suppliers lah. You know that uh, mm. people are encountering problems with a three liter diesel engine lah. You know the Range Rover mm. Sport, mm. Ah. especially the UK ones. You know, mm. you know how okay. how long the service schedule is right in the UK. Mm. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. So that's what I've been hearing. Lah. Yeah. Mm. What is the on. price though? Maybe we can help him by looking at the price first. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should be cheap though. Why do you want to change to a Range Rover Sport? What? What is... Oh, 140. Hey, why is the price variation so high? 140. 140. The 2.0 or no? Sorry. Wow, very expensive way. Still 500 k uh. 290. I, I'm seeing I'm seeing 380, 240, 280. Yep. 380. Wow. 250, 240. Wow. Also, oh, this one. Uh, yeah, and this one, a lot of them all on air suspension as well. Uh. Yeah. That's prone to failure, you know, at this mm. age. Uh, lower arms. You know, these are the common common faults uh, on the car. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to suggest him to have a look at Cayenne's instead. Yep. Same year, 2014. 2014 Cayenne is cheaper though. Wow. Uh, yes. And yes. full size. And full size. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Just that the engine choices la, is like 4.8. But it's a full size SUV, 4.8. Rotex yep. is cheaper than, than a passenger car. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, wait, wait. And the but Cayenne is a sportier drive. La. Cayenne. Cayenne is a sportier drive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Range Rover so, is more you can of, get uh, it. of a thing. If you can get the same model year for less money than a uh, Range Rover Sport, it's a no-brainer law to get the Cayenne. Yeah. You see this one, 3 liter Sport Supercharged, you know, it's a proper engine, you know, but 260,000 way. Yep. Wow. Wow, this car really sought after, uh, the resale value so high. Way. No, no. It's a sought after car, uh, Bobby, this one. Yeah, it is. It is. My, my, my wife loves this car. She loves the design. Yes, yes. So that's my Love wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful yeah, car. All, yeah, yeah. And also the interior is quite nice, lah. Actually, mm. yes, yes. The interior is quite nice. Uh, but, but but it doesn't drive half as well as a Cayenne. It's, oh no! I mean, this is more of a car for wafting, lah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Cayenne more drives, relaxed, lah. More relaxed. Relax. Yeah. Mm. So the same line, Bobby. The Ella um, or the new Cayenne that's coming out, basically. Vela is pretty, uh, but Cayenne mm. is the X5 law. Buy the X5. You know, in terms of mm. price, uh, the Cayenne, even though CKD, right, they, they're going to up the spec, and then once you spec it out, it's still going to be it's still gonna be six, six plus. 
yeah x5 is only like how much uh 400 yeah 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 get the x5 five in terms of specs and price hmm. okay it's easy, easy one Pytro e Pytro i lci better is the value of course <laughs> <laughs> of course Obviously. it's a non-hybrid yes yeah yeah okay um xc40 redesign what the buy yep is there a redesign i don't know i mean xc40 is fantastic 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 mm. now they have the the phev version also ah yeah it's coming in february no uh the the ev is coming in february mm -hmm. yes yes the ev mm -hmm. 308 any comment anyone uh don't hear much big reliability right? issues don't hear it mm. yeah people are happily using them in the new generation ones mm. all right they sort, sorted most of the issues they had yeah and that's the strategy that's a good strategy when you stick to one engine for 14 years <laughs> yep for your entire lineup if you still fuck it up right it's like, it's like it's you like, have one uh, you have one engine to fix it it's like, yeah 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 okay. the prince engine <laughs> question for yeah. mike here the b30 yeah. engine is it a failure design from bw uh, i wouldn't touch it lah. <laughs> oh, why uh? oh. uh, so bad man no la, but why? why i know people I, say it's I mean, underpowered but... yeah but, but i mean the the gap between this and the uh, 320i uh, why why you want to Go and buy this engine there's no reason la. yeah no so reason. it's not a it's not a bad engine per se but it's like more more on lines of why don't you go just go for a b48 yeah just go for the b48 yeah yeah but I guess you know i learned engine. something interesting you know guys hmm. yep. to to reduce emission they have to first reduce displacement right hmm. but when they reduce displacement right they have to yep. reduce hmm. the cylinder count to maintain top output mm. Mm. it's something new that i learned if it is 1.5 mm. with a four cylinder right they need to squeeze more in in the turbocharging to produce the same amount of torque as a three cylinder because the cylinders are larger mm. more yeah. efficient yeah. Yeah. it becomes just, just a little bit more efficient mm. more, more more strategic i would say more also, strategic also, more more moving parts they lose more power in the process ah i i i learned yeah. this thing over, yep. over the few weeks and, and also if you look at it you know the yeah. 1.5 engine is basically mm. you knock out one of the cylinders huh? mm. yeah so you're still using the same pistons yeah the valves so, and all that yeah so more and more manufacturers if they stick to ice right we're gonna see yeah. more and more uh, they're gonna they're gonna arrive at the same conclusion to maintain power they need to reduce the cylinder to three cylinders yep. to keep the cylinder size mm. to generate that that amount of pop yeah interesting yeah 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 which leads me to think back uh, you know back in his uh. day uh, that's why the diet sushi rate is three cylinders you know? <laughs> <laughs> back in his day <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. At that time, yeah, yeah, that's what they did as well. All right, come. Mm. Apa lagi? Uh, JL asked, "Will Bobby ever consider W twelve? No, W twelve is a is a failure. I would say it's it's a it's a failing monster. <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, like like what Con sometimes say, oh, you'll be helping your mechanic have their kids <laughs> graduate from, from university. You know, that's 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 a good engine to start from. <laughs> Let me start <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Yep. Oh, before we take further questions, Thomas has uh, is waving at us from JB. Oh, drive safe, bro. <laughs> uh, drive so, safe. uh, Porsche Cayenne S latest or Maserati Levante S? the Porsche is the safer choice yeah mm. yeah I don't know I mean, you, you get the, the Porsche any Porsche uh, 
you just feel special, you just feel sporty. I, I'm, I know, I'm man. Blown away. How can yep. they make a Porsche Cayenne, such a big car, handle like a sports car? I don't understand yeah. how it's possible. So to me, Porsches are very special. You know, today Alex Stamrock let me drive his 993. I was like, oh, it's just so yeah. nice. It's like how's such the pedal a... placement? Oh yeah, the I mean the accelerator is like how we step on the it's like our brake pedal lah, but. You know the way the <laughs> response is oh, it, it's so nice, ah. It's just so that, nice. That, that yeah, time when game. Mike, that time when Mike let me set in a nine six four, yeah. You know, yeah. It totally throw away any imagination that I had on driving a plastic <laughs> washer over Mei Hong Son. You know, because yeah. you know how big my feet is, right? My my feet is eleven and a half size. You know. And then oh. all the pedals are all cramped to the left side. It's like, what the hell, we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the organ, the organ placement of the pedals, ah, uh, be... yeah. You know, I'm a size eleven. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a size eleven. You are a size eleven yes, as well. Yeah. yeah. 11. Wow. Really, uh, yeah. My feet is small in comparison to you guys. <laughs> so yeah. So. Um, no wonder your wife always very happy, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I heard that's a huh? No, no, no. I, 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 because, because I'm, I'm like five feet eleven, right? So, ah, uh, so my one proportionately is not as happy as yours. But given your. <laughs> 11 right wow proportionally ratio, uh, yeah. oh yeah, the ratio is, is mad way yeah yeah <laughs> no, but, but the point like is boosted engine eh? <laughs> <laughs> now now we talk about hybrid <laughs> you gotta win it two cylinder bursar Long stroke, the yeah, engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, coming back. Um, no, so so uh, so yeah, I actually find it difficult on a manual uh to keep the um the, the pedal like so. Yeah, how do we have proper shoes? Le? tight shoes. <laughs> how how? Uh, Con, uh, what was the weight of the clutch uh, on the 993? Oh, this was an auto. Oh, auto. Oh, okay, okay. Auto. Mm, mm. Oh, all right, all so right. it's not fast. The car is, is, is not very fast by any standard, but mm. the, I like the way the car, the it's word that I would describe the car is, is that it's very crisp. Mm. crisp. You know, it responds very proportionately to the outputs that you give it, to, to the inputs that you give it. You know, yeah. that when you... The, the throttle pedal is heavy so when you want to extract speed out of the car you have to put in effort on your right feet on your right foot yep yeah. so again, you must put effort so, because the, the accelerator is very heavy oh so mm. you want to squeeze speed out of the car right you really have to you know put put in that effort to step on the accelerator and you the get that yeah. 90s continental throttle pedal, la, right? Yeah, yeah, really yeah. heavy, yeah. One, right? Yeah, you heavy, know, a lot yeah. of Japanese car owner, uh, a lot of Japanese car owner, they go up to yep. a 90s German car, they step on the throttle, mm. they're like, hey, what the car doesn't move one, uh, no power, yeah, one, yeah, right? especially <laughs> what you know, 124 Mercedes. Oh, yes, yes man, tell oh, me about it. Oh, you know, the way you put a brake on, or so, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Need an assistance man for that. Nineties, <laughs> nineties. Oh, yep. Okay. Ernest Chua asked question. I clocked twenty seven thousand kilometers annually. Thinking of getting a Volvo S sixty twenty twenty model, using a two twelve E twenty four ISO coupe, and how is reliability of the T eight after high miles? Hmm. So a used uh, S sixty T eight. Obviously, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But very low mileage, like twenty-seven, lah. I, yeah, I, I, I can't see any issue. Very low mileage, twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't think any issue when you getting one, you know. Still uh, on a warranty. 
I already know a, a T8 XC90 owner who has clocked more than like 230,000 km on his car. Mm. So, I, I mean, I, it's a hybrid. It's, mm. when, when it's a hybrid, right, you're bound to have maybe little glitches sometimes mm. when the batteries, uh, uh, temperature regulation, then a little the, the logo sometimes come up. You just switch off your car, lock your car, wait for it to reset, you know, and then see whether it comes on again. Mm. It's hybrid is is you know Volvo's hybrid is very complicated because it's a it's an engine with a turbocharger and a supercharger and a hybrid yeah. you know there's so yeah. many components really? in it you know yeah. so so it's 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 like it's like as complicated an ICE engine can get you know it's, yeah. it's way more complicated yeah. than a V12 engine you know mm. so so I I wouldn't say that it will be as you know totally problem free as compared to a simple four-cylinder turbocharged engine, you know. Um, but I think it's a proven drivetrain. The one thing that you can be comfort comfortable is that from 2014 until now, there are no global T8 failures. No such yeah. thing. We don't yeah. hear that yeah. at all. And uh, the engine was proven to be so reliable, even with turbocharging and supercharging. Whereas you look at uh, Volkswagen back in 2009, they introduced that engine, <laughs> the major... Fuck up, and then they, they just discontinue that. But Volvo yeah, yeah. sorted it. So yeah. and 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 you notice that the used car values for all the T8s are still holding strong. Yeah, yeah I would yeah. I would tell you I mean, my, my theory is uh, when they began mm. with hybrids earlier, yes, they had an issue of trying to make it. How do you make this work, like? Huh? But lately, mm. the hybrids are all all the cars are being like, very sort, sorted. And also, I find that like like on my T3OE now. Uh, like I yeah. charge in the morning, I, I go to school and come back and stuff. Mm. I hardly turn on the engine. Mm. That's how it is. It's always yeah. on the battery power. Once in a while, it goes on. So I'm thinking myself, uh, wow, the wear and tear on the engine actually, uh, it's yeah. very minimal. Though. If you think mm. about it for the hybrid, if you charge it and you use it, you know. Um, so I would think 27,000 kilometer on a Volvo S60 probably be equivalent to like a 15,000 kilometer mileage on a ICE. Correct. So yeah, it's mm. very very less stuff in the car. And 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 also, there's one more thing to take note, right? From 2014, actually not from 2014, from 2010, when Volvo began designing the Spa platform, right? They were designing it for hybrid first, then petrol later. Mm, Whereas yeah. BMW and Mercedes is doing it the other way around. They retrofitted their ICE cars with a hybridized, you know, PHEV thing this is a on third party. Basically, they buy off the shelf stuffs onto mm -hmm. their cars. So it, at, from the early onset, right, they have a lot of pro minor problems whereby, let's say they face this issue, then they have to go to their supplier, you know? Mm -hmm. And then the supplier is like, hey, I give you everything according to your spec. And then they are like, hey, sure. cannot, there's a problem. Let me check your, your source code or design. And then the supplier said, hey, that's my proprietary, you know. But Volvo was doing everything in-house. This, so, this was especially yeah. true with, the, I think, the F30 and the, the first X5 hybrid. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The first batcher, right? The first batches. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I heard some stories about the X5, the first batch. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the F30, not so much. But the X5, I've heard some stories like, some cases. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, there are, there are the first batch. There are. So anyway, right. uh, moving on. Uh, what else? Yeah, on? Do we want to scroll all the way down? Can like how Thomas sometimes would do it so that we catch up with the. Can we catch up? Okay. Oh, a lot. Uh, okay. A lot. A lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Compact EV. Haven't tested. tell. <laughs> What's EV yeah, coming? Cannot answer uh, this one. I mean, yeah. so many, many EVs are coming in though. The the Mazda MX thirty, right? I think I think Honda will be bringing the 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 what 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 is it called? The Honda what? Are they bringing the one that looks like the well? Gen CV, right? Um, yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah. I think I think a lot of EVs are coming in. So yeah. let's hope let's hope for the best. All right. I just want to answer this one. Uh oh, sorry, sorry. 
It's the IH. Oh, buy no, buy no, I hate buy, buy. I don't know whether it's good or not. I've never uh, experienced. Oh, I just want to answer this one. Uh, four liter V8, buy, buy. All right, just yep. buy. Mm. This engine is good. This one. Yeah, fantastic. It's the Audi yep. four liter V8 twin turbo right. engine. Okay. Yeah. This is a good question. Uh, we shall mm -hmm. ask Bobby. You buy a car. What car would you buy? A new car. You must give a budget, lah. Huh? Find the key budget. Hello. New car. Huh? Okay, new car. Seven hundred k. Seven hundred k. How much you want to pay? One point two. One point two million. <laughs> what? No. Unlimited. Unlimited. Cannot lah. Cannot ask for that one, lah. Wait. Can I ask okay, that? Okay. How to answer? Okay. Right. Literally asked this question twice. Uh, mm. Prado, this is about, I think, off-road. I'm not so um, into like LCs and stuff, so I can't answer you. Sorry. Yeah. This is about engine, 1KZ, 1KD. Um, wow. So, yeah, very dynamical. Sorry, guys. Not Sorry, uh, very deep. Uh, uh, X90, is it coming? Uh, okay. I mean, put it this way, I, I, want, I just want to answer that with a very speculative mind. From a business perspective, if you are Proton, right, uh, you already launched your X50, you already launched your X70, it has proven to be successful. And then your X70, right, only reach 120K. Only reach 120K. There is a playground of 80,000 to 200K for you to explore and from proton's perspective right 200k is not that hard to go why 200k is where accords camrys and toyota rave force are around there mazda 6 yeah. cx5 2.5 turbo so these are the players in 200k your most expensive car currently is 120 you have an 80k playground to come in and tackle the market Yep. Obviously, you will bring in the X90. 100% from a business perspective. Even though I, I don't have news, I'm not close to Proton, but from a business strategy, you need to bring in the X90. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's, okay. it's definitely coming in. So, talking right. about also price range, Bobby, yeah? you talk about 200k. Mm -hmm. For 300k, mm -hmm. should you go for the G28 or a used G30? Apa itu G28? Ah? Uh, is the I think it's the three series L long wheelbase. Oh, twenty eight is that? Oh, okay. Oh, long wheelbase. Uh. Hey, I don't know why uh, Malaysians don't buy the long wheelbase, ah. Uh. <laughs> right. No. Why, I yeah? I've yeah, seen a, I don't know why. Yeah, I think one or two only. I know Actually, it makes sense, ah. Uh, you know, with the narrow body, and then with the extra leg room at the back, ah. Uh. Yeah, but but interesting, right? We all thought we all thought Malaysians all kiasu like China, right? Like wow, longer wheelbase, we all will buy. But I don't see any of them, right? I think for Malaysian Mabi, yeah, if for the price, you better buy a five series lah. The five series has yeah. got a different badging to it compared to a three series. So oh, is it yeah. a lot more expensive? What is the price of well, the it's, long wheelbase? It's at the price point of the old five twenty i. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so knocking on the five series. Yeah, it's a stop gap car, I'm not gonna say. In between. Yeah, but the to be honest, the the G twenty really drives a lot more. Oh, yeah. Upper than the G thirty. Uh, the, 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 wait wait G twenty is the three series. Yeah yeah. yeah. The three series drives sharper than the five series. Right, and then if it's the used G thirty, right, the pre phase lift, right. <laughs> <laughs> now the face lift looks so good, right? Yeah. You drive the pre face lift out. Uh. But you wait for another you know, year or two, you can buy the face lift kit. Lah, you know, so spend 30k, 20k. Facelift. Wow, expensive. 30,000 for headlamps. You, 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 no, no, you, you, you really are better. Mercedes, you know, Mercedes came out with the square lights and they came out with the, that whole yeah. shit thing. Oh, that one was it. Yeah. Whole new car. <laughs> You know when when I when I when I when I was like like re refreshing my six series right, so many people say, "Hey, Bobby, go and change the LCI headlamps." Ah, uh. 
Then I answered, I answered online saying that no la, no la, no la. But at the back, I go and text, I go and text Sunway, you know, ask them <laughs> how much, how much is a six series LCI headlamp, right? It's like 32,000, bro. Huh? What? <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, a set is 30, is 30 wow. over thousand, bro. The light and the bumper, all that, is it? Or just the lights? Just the lights, just the lights alone. Because yeah. there are no used ones out there. Okay. The facelift ones are LED headlamps, uh, Bobby. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm. It's 30 over thousand. Yeah, and LED then uh, the, the only thing I managed to find is a half cut M6. All right, half cut M6, yep. and then the, the the seller say he's not selling it separately. He's selling the whole half cut, like hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> yeah, he's not selling just the headlamps alone. You know, so have to order, and then when you order, you know, coding everything is thirty over thousand. No way, I'm spending thirty over thousand for a few like strips. Yep. No way la. No, no way, way la. No way. No way. Thirty k, I can buy an Alpha One Five Nine with. Exactly. Yes, and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right uh, Mac, new f type worth getting i don't know i have no no comments uh uh but it's it's more interesting than than a boxer like, to be honest boxers are everywhere caymans are everywhere you drive a jaguar now it's suddenly wow, people will come and look at your car you know you buy a boxer in cayman it's like you know it's funny about me like huh? uh, there are so many Porsches out there that yeah. when I drive my Porsche, the older Porsche, they look at my Porsche more because why well, it's an older Porsche, not very uh, common. Uh, <laughs> yep. It's a cheaper Porsche, like, hey, what different? Huh? So it's like, <laughs> there's only Porsche out there. So it's, it's funny, like, no? So, uh, yeah. Um, my V, 2020, 2022, or a Iris, 2022? Iris drives much better, but... I like the Iris driving, but my V is more ice-wise, practical. Ice, you know. yep. Yeah, you get a bigger boot with the Myvi lah. Yeah, practicality. Everything bigger. Uh. But the the you say about practicality, right? I think the Iris now has a better organized center console compared to the Myvi. Uh, the interior is better though. Interior, the the leather seats, the pin and finish, the button, yeah. the uh, high proton, everything with the interior of the Iris is better than the Myvi. Everything. Mm, the yeah. only part the Iris uses to the Myvi is the space my opinion yeah for me uh for me uh personally buying if i don't think about resale value i will buy the iris lah. yeah but i would say that a lot of buyers of this segment mm -hmm. a high resale value car allows you to to jump segment next time when you change cars Hey guys, I need to excuse myself. Ah. There's something, something that allows you to, to jump to the next segment solely because of your high resale value. Yep. Next time, like. mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice, bro. The new the new protons, the interior, everything is like super nice. The one we saw the was the one with the uh, um, brown leather interior, it was even nicer. Yep. Uh, the, uh, the iris dries well, lah, that's for sure. Lah. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Mike, I want to play, play a game. I want to guess yeah. what is Bobby's next answer. Okay. Play a game? He's going okay. to say yes. <laughs> He's going to say bye. Hello. <laughs> bye. I mean, it's... it's yeah, can't, can't go wrong. Yeah, but, but, but it has recently gone through a upswing in its okay. resale value. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So... So if you are able to find some of the Dato or Tan Sri's who have a 987 lying at home, not driving one, and these are the kind of people who seldom go to Buddha and Kalis, right? Try and try and pull a fast one and offer them 80,000. There's, there's, yep. there's one car for sale in Malacca, a yellow yeah. Porsche Boxster. The story is this. The mm. guy spent obscene amount of money to change the you entire and exterior. Yellow boxers, uh. Wait, the entire exterior... <laughs> To, be, to become a 97. It's a, it's a 996. Yeah. But convert to a 97. Oh, oh my god. Don't lie. He has done that. You know? And you can't sell the car now because why? The interior is a 96. <laughs> the exterior is a 96. <laughs> Don't lie. Yeah. Don't lie. That is butchering a Porsche now. <laughs> yeah. Don't lie. Oh.
I feel lost now. Gary says now like exchange. I don't know what he meant by exchange. Exchange <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm going back <laughs> in time. I'm going back in time in the comments. So sorry about that. Um, okay. Um, what do you call this? Any questions for me? How about uh, Simon Sue says G30 or 205? Can't decide which I go for. My main concern is which car has lesser issues. Come on. Both are good. Both both are good. Really? Yeah, this question is serious. Uh. G30 is 5 series or oh. W205 is C class or? Oh. Mm. Right. Different class. Oh. Yeah, I, I would definitely go G30. La. W205 is a uh, like bad soundproofing, you know, mm. blah, blah. No, no comparison, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One is a class above. Yes. But granted, the face lifted W205. They finally fixed the transmission issue. Lah, huh? The pre face yeah. the transmission has a mind of its own. Lah. It's just weird. Yeah, the 9G, lah, the 9G transmission. Yeah. 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 Hey, no, that was a 7G, right? The pre face lift is the 7 yes, speed. 7G. Lift. Yes, then they went uh, to the 9. Yeah, yeah. The 9G. And when then they, they went improved to the 9G. The, the, you know, they improved yeah. everything. Uh, yes, yes. The pairing, the pairing was improved. Yes, yes, mm. yes. All right. Okay. So, uh, a newer P30E M Sport or a used 530E M Sport? Wow. Oh. It's it really depends what you want, uh, This one. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Both, both, both has the same. Both has the same drive train, right? Both yep. has the same drive train. Uh, one car is bigger, more comfortable. Another one is more sporty. That's All right. All right. Mm. Pre LCI. And the new to the OE. I'm a fan of the new to the OE. Yeah. Mike, I just want to answer this one because, oh, yeah, I answered that one first. Ah. Yeah. What's that? Mike, Polo 219, 6. Anything better to recommend? Wow, 60K. Uh. 60K got a lot of things to buy. We can buy GTI, right? Correct. You can buy an early GTI, right? Max 6. Hello. Yeah. Mm. Uh, even a later one, 2012, I think it's maybe about 70K you can get. Oh, ah, uh, seventy something. Yeah. Why? Why Apollo twenty nineteen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, go, go, go GTI lah. Yeah. Mm. But sixty k. Passat, he puts money get. Yeah, B eight passat, B eight passat. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so cheap ah. Seventy some, I think eighty yeah. 70 oh plus God. 80. Ah. 8. Imagine, ah, pasad, ah. I mean, the kosong spec on. Ah. Yeah. Mm, but still. Mm. A much better oh car. QB. Oh my God. How much are they? Ah? Let me see here. I don't know. I'm trying to find. Yeah. There are so 20. many B7 Passat. Yeah. No. Oh my God. B7 Passat are everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm reaching there already. 217 right? is 50k. Hmm? 217 for 50k. Is that right? 217, 217 uh. for 50k. Serious. 218. 218 is 70. Wow. 70 plus. Okay, la, go, please get the B8 Passat. La. Yeah, hmm. you know, get the big and, passage. Yes, yes, and also the fuel economy is better. Man. The fuel yeah. economy also is better than yeah. the one point six. More powerful. It's it's only two year difference with the Polo, and uh, yeah. it's, it's gonna hold this value much longer than the Polo. Wow, much longer <laughs> than the Polo. I mean, you, you buy a Polo at, at sixty versus you buy a Passat at sixty, right? The Passat is gonna hold longer. Right. Yeah, but Passat don't have 60. Yeah, I mean, 72. Mm. Uh, because it's, it's, it's available for loan, right? The difference is 6K down payment versus 7K down payment. It's 1,000 ringgit difference yes. in terms of down payment. And then when it comes to repayment, right? Monthly repayment, right? It's, it's less than 200 ringgit, you know, if you stretch yeah. the loan. Right? So, Negligible, right? Yeah, yes, get the get the get the Passat 1.8, you know. Uh when it comes to selling, uh it's it's gonna you're gonna earn back your money next time compared to the Polo 1.6. Yeah. 
get the pass up, get the pass up. Yeah, yeah. It was seventy something, any yeah. Yeah, man. Hasbro yeah. has a hey, some, hey, some more hmm. co- comfort line, some more with LED yeah. headlamps. Uh. Ah. So Hasbro has a question: Is it true the uh, used market prices are increasing as waiting time for new car is very long? Some cars depends, are very slow. Uh, depends. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, Hasbro, you are you are a professor, right? It's always demand and supply, like seriously, right? Uh, uh, sometimes when a car has no demand but also no supply, so the seller can can put any price they want, right? Uh, sometimes when cars are like super popular but also super high demand, it will be strong, like my V, right? Yep. So it really depends on on these two things. It's it's not across the board. I don't think it's across yep. the board. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, I just want to answer this guy. He, he he. I think he asked a question on one of my YouTube videos, and then I answer him, and then he repeated the the question here. Okay. I think the question was a bit longer. It was something like in the long run. So I answered it very 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 straightforward. I said the M three forty i is a is is not a hybrid, right? It only has two more cylinder, and it's it's so. It has less components than a three thirty e. So in the long run, I would I, I think that it will have less chances of incurring higher higher running costs. Uh, that's it. You know, nothing 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 about resale. It's not about fuel costs and all that. It's solely solely when when you ask me that question, uh, a car with a hybrid drivetrain has has more components. That's it. You know, more complicated. So yeah, more, more care needed. All right. Um, Basically, less less to go wrong also lah. Yeah, less to go wrong, right? Less understressed. Uh, uh, this one, please go ahead and buy. Korean cars are super reliable. I mean, superbly reliable. Korean yes. Cars. And this yep. is the one with the two hundred forty horsepower. So GT. nice. GT. Yeah, man, two forty horsepower, and you can select V yep. eight engine sound in the car. <laughs> <laughs> You can select V8. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that funny one. <laughs> cool. okay, question from Jordan. Yeah. Uh, Evo inspection centers all capable of identifying whether a BMW is good to buy or only a few are experts in BMW. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think there are more people who, who knows how to fix BMWs than, 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 than yeah. new Camrys out there now. I think it's like... It's I'll give BMW. you my experience now. So when, when I called up, they ask you uh, what car it is, and based on your car, you recommend yeah. where to go for the proper inspection place. Like. So they will match you up. So okay, Jordan, you look okay, Jordan. When it comes to inspection of whether a used car is buyable or not, right? We, you don't need experts in BMW to be honest. Uh, because that what, what the inspection centers does is to prevent the lowest, the lowest denominators i would say i mean whether the car has been in an accident or not you know or whether the car is has gone through a flood or does it have major issues you know so it's it's the big ticket items that they are looking at not not you you can't you can't aim for like a super expert in 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 seeing a car and then deciding that oh whether this 5 series f10 have changed the aircon filter you know, because it gets clogged up and then water will go into the cabin and things like that. Not not to the extent, lah. you know, it's to prevent the, 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 the big troubles, not the not an expert to, to make sure every small trouble is taken care of. Lah. So you don't need an expert in deciding whether a car is viable or not. Lah. Yeah. Or Mike, you are very experienced in BMWs also. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, la, I mean, basically, if you inspect a car, you can see whether it's well taken care or not. La. Yeah. Mm. Like, the most important thing, I mean, yeah. of course, for people like us, right, Mike, for people like us, when we inspect a car that we want to buy, right, even if we yeah. even if we know that, oh, the front fender has been crashed before, I uh, don't care. Don't care. La. That one is not considered a crash in our in our books, right? Yeah. Front fender, you take out the whole front fender, you replace it, the car is not crashed anymore, right? So, right, so, right. Ah, as long as the basis is not affected, that's fine. Ex- yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. For people like us, right? <laughs> oh, small accident, uh, front fender. Uh, oh, so what? You know, door. Uh, so what? <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I, got, 
All right. I got seven hundred ringgit uh, discount on my BMW because uh, there was a crack in the bumper in front, and uh, <laughs> and I took the, the discount when the bumper used is only four hundred bucks. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So so yeah. So yeah. question. Uh, hi guys, twenty four buying Pascal. Not sure between a Mazda three thirteen. Uh, two point zero sedan, fifty k mileage or brand new, twenty two persona. We'll definitely appreciate the help. Thank you. Wow. Nikki Poly sunflower seat. Wow. Oh, persona versus. <laughs> hey, the uh, so so strong uh, The Mazda two thousand thirteen uh. Wow. Should it be? Mazda, I think uh, that one you can get the Sky Active model already, right? Yes. Right now. Uh, wow. They call it the. Uh, that should oh, buy you a. Uh, yeah, Master Three, uh, Master Three, two thousand fourteen Master Three. Well, that's the old, old, old Sky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think it's this one. Uh, how to share to Chiang? I mean, all the Master Six pop up. I think I found it. Very, very few selling though. Two thousand fourteen. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it because I, I picked one that is close to the price of a Persona, you know, 50 over 1,000. I think that should be the one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, Persona... Definitely brand new car, you know, zero mileage, and then uh, you have the the high proton to me for for the infotainment only la, not the window and all that. And um, I think Persona has more space. Persona is also uglier, right? <laughs> yeah, way uglier, and uh, way higher fuel consumption than a Mazda. Um. Mm, and and most importantly, the Mazda has gone through the highest depreciation curve. So, uh, Proton, like like Con last time, he bought a brand new Proton Persona, and then in just two years, he lost thirty thousand. You know, he sold the car and lost thirty thousand in two years. So, I, I would say if you are buying your first car, you can get you can you can definitely get the two thousand fourteen or two thousand thirteen Mazda three. You know. Yep. Get the Sky Active one, uh. Don't get the the Yala. free Sky Active one, uh. Yeah, get the Sky yes. Active one. Right? Always buy really the Sky nice Active one. Yes, it's a really nice car. And then if you visit Mike yeah. Yap, right, you're gonna get a lot more horsepower. Yep. Right, I mean, right. it's a real a real step up, lah. You know, for ten about ten grand more. Yes, yes, but active, because yeah. it's not a new car. You know, there's a benefit with buying a used car also is that. When when you face any small niggling issues, right? Okay, I put it this way: when you buy a used car, right, and then you found out your side mirror doesn't fold, you are you have less stress than your new car having a small scratch on the leather seat. You know, when you buy a new car, right, you spot one <laughs> small thing, right? the, the the anger in you, right, is way higher, way 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 higher. You know. That, that kind of stress, yep. you know, because you felt that you are short change. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. For me, I look at it differently. When you have a new yeah. car and the car got a problem, yeah. I'm concerned because it's a new car, it shouldn't be a problem. When it's an old car, there's a problem. I know the answers are already out there somewhere in the world. It can be solved. Yeah. So, so if yeah. I'm in my mind, it's an it's a, it's a issue that, like, when you buy a new car and there's a problem, it's like, it kind like buy the car one month of issue already. Then I'm like, mm. I, I lose the car trust. But the used car I buy, oh problem, uh, oh okay lor, this problem can fix my issue. So I'm, I'm more, yeah, I'm more happy yeah, uh, I solve the problem, you know. So that's how I think. About you know, <laughs> it's not even to Go the ahead. extent of a breakdown. You know, it's not even to the extent of a breakdown. You buy a new yeah. car, right? You spotted one mm. small small thing on the dashboard, right. uh, one small scratch on the dashboard, you you're furious one, you know. Yes. Serious. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, just like me, uh, when I first got my Passat, um, 
but now it's uh, four years or five years back. Uh, when I first bought my uh, Passat, right? Drove the car uh, on the showroom. And the bloody car, the balancing is off. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that is already annoyance. Right? So straight away, I go back to my own tire shop, get, get it balanced up. But after balancing up, still got problem. Why the car was sitting in the yard, the tires got flat spotted. Uh, then you got to go to the service center, you know, beg these people to go and change your tires for you. You know, it's like three mm. different times you know, before they actually uh, take any action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you get stuff like that. Uh, yeah. The dealers are really at the time. Yes, yes. I think that era, they, 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 they were rushing to sign on dealers back then. Mm. Correct. Right. Too many dealers yeah. like that. Mm. Yeah. But okay, that's let's what pick up is. the things here for questions. Okay, um, come. More okay. questions. Okay, quick one. Uh, F ten factory AI two liter B forty engine any good? Good, but no, no B forty eight on the F ten. It's the old engine. It's the old. All N twenty. Uh, All N twenty. Uh, but the uh, yes. car is wrong lah. You know, the B eight passat B one oh, is leaking. All N two K. No lah, game is good ma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just want to say something before I answer anything because I'm not as knowledgeable as Mike Yap on, on F10, right? Gun. Yeah. A car leaking oil at 92,000 km, right? For yeah. me, it's acceptable. Yes. That is 92,000. I mean, that's not a yes. problem. That is just, you need a major service on it, you know? Yep. 92, bro. That I is... Also- what that is the almost the lifespan of the car that was you see cars are designed with their suppliers all the contract is that these things should last hundred thousand right so so but 92 is is near that you know don't forget your idling time the, the yep. time where your car sits there running the engine just like that you know blowing the air con, waiting for your girlfriend buying stuff you know all those make your cars a uh, uh, real mileage exceed that of your your yep. meter. Yes. All right. Especially so, KL traffic, I do agree with you, Bobby. Yeah. Yes. The yes. idling time. If, when right. you go to work, you know, it's one and a mm. half hours. On the way back, yeah, it's yeah, another yeah. one and a half hours. But you have only done 20 kilometers. Mm. Yeah. So, also, exactly. okay, I mean, the, whole, the whole thing about engine oil leaking, yeah, it's like, yeah. where is the engine leaking? If it's a head gasket, engine, for me, it's like, okay, normal lah. Mm. Yeah. Gasket, it's yeah. a normal thing, yeah. just case the gasket. I, no yeah. If it's an oil I mean, sun also, no problem, you know? Correct. So, correct. so depending where the oil leak, if it's a timing chain cover leaking yep. also, okay, normal, you know? Yeah. So, it, yes. for me, yes. all those leaks, uh, the three main parts, uh, for me, it's mm. normal, uh, it's a gasket, <laughs> it's also all, all the big issue. So, exactly, uh, exactly. And also, even with the BMWs or so, at this kind of mileage, you know, you got to mm. fix, you know, some of your water cooling issues. You know, yeah. some of this wear and tear will kick in, uh, You know, it can be, it can be a valve cover gasket, yeah, you know, and, and uh, timing kit gasket, you know, normal. And and the previous generation Alpha and Bell fires, so many of them before this mileage requires a gearbox rebuild. Yeah. What, yeah. over here? Also, also you know, the power steering. steering right. uh, ah, yes. Steering. Yes. 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 So Not common. Before 90K. Those are way more serious issues. Really. And, it, and <laughs> if you talk about engine oil, about, about oil leaking, yeah, most yeah. likely uh, you have to go to a major component change, a uh, timing chain, or maybe a water pump, or maybe yeah. uh, valve guides, you know, something like, you know, at those points, the gasket are changed. So it was leaking, uh, take it as opportunity, uh, well, good, can open and check to make sure all okay. And then do it up, and then the car will last another 100,000 kilometers. So, and another thing, Tana, Tana, hmm. another thing. Volkswagen track day. Hello. They were in the same car. You know what, okay, uh, okay, huh? I, I, I love VW, but I must say, uh, at one point, I want to buy a Golf. The yep. only reason I didn't buy a golf is because why I saw the VW drivers and I was like, wow, these guys, uh, if I follow them, uh, I show car uh, I will drive my car like mad. So I I, I feel I feel for my life, I feel for my sanity. I said I should stay from VW because how well they drive, how 
gung ho that drive. I'll tell you lah, guys, we know lah. We know how the Volkswagen, we know how the Volkswagen Group owners drive lah. Huh? And yeah, and yeah, yeah. Their love of Sepang. Ah, <laughs> there you go. And um, and I I know so many. I, I have a lot of friends who drive Volkswagen. I know so many of them lah. Buy new car, go Sepang. After that, try and claim warranty. Yeah, I think we all don't know. Ah, nah, Bobby, you're talking about me. But then I own old Volkswagen lah, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't remember you going track day on your B8. Lah. See, talk <laughs> no, to la, me, la. the guy, MK6R, want to sell already. Who would sell it or not? Sell low, depends on what you're buying. Uh, right, right. Where, where you want to go next? Yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Okay, mm. Uh, yeah. let's do a rapid question. Fire, uh, I got a list of 10 questions here. Um, yeah, idea, new segment car, under 160? Wow, I don't remember. Segment. What's the new car price of this segment anymore? Yeah. Is it asking new or what? I think for three of us, the standard D segment that we would suggest is always the Mazda 6, right? Hmm. I wonder how much... 160k. How, uh, how much is the Camry now? Brand new? How much is how much is the current Camry? Ah? Yo, not loading ah, my collection. It was One lagging. Nine, now. Oh. Sorry? Yeah, I was lagging, One right? Nine. Yep. Sorry? Within 200, 196. Oh, the Camry? Ah. Oh. Yeah, 2.5 Camry, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, the brand new one. Oh, okay, I found one, 150k. 150k. Your your dream, Chiang can put it up. Can put it up. Can put it up. Okay. I tell you guys, this car handles just as well as the Mazda Six. You know, mm. it handles really well. Yeah. And uh, only thing Toyota didn't didn't good uh, didn't put a proper power plant into it lah. Huh? Ah, the two point five, the old two point five, four port. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and and of course the Mazda six interior is nicer lah. Hmm. But this Camry is, I don't know, man. The more I look at it, the more I like it ah. You know, I mm. I really love how I, it drives. I, I, actually, I look, I like the looks of the rear of the Camry. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's very beautiful. Yeah. And uh, it drives really well. You know, there's no hybrid drivetrain. It reminds yeah, me a bit of the Archeon a bit, eh, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be infinitely reliable. You know, it's a Camry. Yep. You know. And, uh, yeah, either this one or a Mazda 6. You know, either this or a Mazda 6. All right. So, and this one handles really, really well. Right. Okay. Apa lagi? Come, 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 uh, come. How about something more out of the blue? RX 1200, this was current car, 400k budget, fun daily, 288 M4 or the 718? Wow. Mm. Again, I'm going to suggest 718 Boxster. Lah. Boxster, Boxster. No, 718 is. 7-8 is the Cayman, is it? And then Boxster uh, is the oh, oh, no. Both, 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 no, both are 7-8. The, the, the way they label it, I think there's a... It called is Wayne Lee. Yep. No, no. <laughs> it's not Wayne Lee. <laughs> oh no 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 sorry 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 I read I read it wrongly the 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 guy's nick covered con's name is it <laughs> oh. uh, yeah so I think so, he's talking no, about, uh, talking about well, that. I would say seven one say of, fun uh, yeah a boxster is more fun than an M4 like cannot run away like mm. I will I'll pick the seven one eight as well uh. yeah yeah mm. he's picking the camera I think he's talking about the camera not the boxer. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's yeah, spe specifically stressed it. Uh. 
I, no, I think I think the seven one eight means the Cayman. The seven one eight Boxster is the Boxster. I think, if I'm not mistaken. I I I know. I I'm trying to tell him get the seven one eight Boxster. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. Get the Cayman, he will regret getting the Cayman. Don't he get the Cayman, lah. <laughs> Yeah, he will regret. After a while, he'll be looking at boxers, you know. I I, I had this image in my head. Uh, people yep. driving the Cayman, uh, they always said, uh, should have bought a boxer. <laughs> exactly. Just go all of them. All of them. Just go with a boxer, you know, when you... Uh, yeah. Just go with a boxer. Get the boxer. Get the boxer. Yeah. All right. Because the, the thing is this, you can... Okay, a, a, a fun car doesn't mean just power you know you get the m4 your first three month four month right you feel you feel fantastic oh, yep. oh, the power. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. you know after yep. a while you will you will you will progress into the second stage of ownership whereby you <laughs> use the car without any enthusiasm you know you're just using it right and yep. your m4 with this hard roof or whatever right and you are just rolling about in ss2 looking for parking right it's the same as your as your Lexus RX in a way, you know, two seats in front and two seats at the back, you know, five sets of seat belts, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to be like that, you know, with a roof covered and all that. But the 718, if you get the Roadster you can, or Boxster, it, it gives you a totally different experience further down the road when you are done with the power thing. And that is the true enjoyment where you can drive soft slowly in your car and and sort of enjoy you know i think that's oh 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 oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fucker jiang jiang is that bobby shut the fuck up okay i cannot argue against this if you're getting oh, a <laughs> <laughs> and you save and he saved 100k and he saved 100k okay competition okay. this one i i i I, I have to I have to self and I have to what what I have to uh 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 sin your notice no I I have to tell retract, I have to confess, retract. Now, I have to confess <laughs> now I will get a M4 convertible <laughs> over a 718 boxster for me ah. yeah the yeah. usability is totally different lah. for the 718 but, be, uh, because the engine mm. and all that stuff I would have gone for the M4 also. The 718 engine yeah. to pull the turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it is M4 versus the... even, then an M4, right? Yeah. If, it, if it's a 718 S, maybe uh, then different yeah. story, all, all together differently. But the 718, yeah. uh, the engine is my letdown, You know, so the M4. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I, 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 I would totally go for this stuff. Uh, 300k, you know, M4 convertible, four Wait, seater. Please buy the M4 convertible. Please call us. Look at me, yeah. your car. <laughs> imagine, Mike, Mike, imagine you driving and then your wife and then behind yep. Isaac, Brian. Yep. Oh, so nice. No, the, it is the problem color, this me pack now. is beautiful. Huh? Yes. This the problem for me now, I'm not getting my drives because Isaac wants to drive. So last weekend, I had to I had to insist I drive. <laughs> but, but Mike, why don't yep. you guys pull a father and son drive, right? When you all join yes. us, each of you. Oh, look at it. Grey color car with red color seats is oh, yeah. nice, ah, this one. Yeah, this one, man. This one, three hundred k. Wayne, get this one, Wayne. You save hundred k. You get an M four with a convertible roof. You can carry your yep. kid, yep. Or friend, or whatnot, right? If you have three girlfriends, you can fetch all three of them. Wow, wow look at the mileage. The mileage is only forty k. Actually, in uh, Malaysia, the convertible uh, is highly usable, actually. Yes. Mm. Well, look at the engine. Wow. I like this one way. I love this. Oh, yeah. This is so nice. Wow, look at the seats. Yeah, man. Oh, look at it. Look at this. Oh, anyone wants to buy my six series? Oh, so <laughs> nice. Oh. And then can go M events. Oh. Yep. oh okay another thing uh, when you buy an m4 right you go bmw m events right you feel proud then you buy a 718 you go to porsche owner gathering right? <laughs> there we go <laughs> you, you feel like you feel like your shoe size is three <laughs> you feel like oh. <laughs> <laughs> like like oh, in the, in the, in the, in the <laughs> world, yeah. 
like someone uh, comes with a 3.8 or older 3.1 uh, 3.8 engine like wow protects high yeah the respect yeah 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 newer uh, small engine like oh came in okay lah true true i see it. okay lah m4 ah m4 convertible ah m4 convertible 300k wow save 100k so more oops I, I hear I hear uh my daughter what oh, daughter, daughter. I, a I thought your daughter came over and said daddy mind your language all of you <laughs> say Bobby is the bad influence and three more don't say uh okay okay Anything um else? uh running course we got a question about oh first contica must help like isn't law oh. first contica okay you want help him first i go toilet premium okay. selection for oh, you sir it is basically set a budget of 300k and these are the two cars that are closest to his budget yeah. but they are quite different uh Honestly, the 530e is a much more livable car lah compared to the 320, 330i. 330i for me, the case is undone by its by its harsh ride lah. Mm. Say again, yeah. the 330i. The harsh ride of the 330i right to me is a deal breaker. But but yeah. Connor, don't you find it interesting yeah that the 330e mm. handles very nice, the 330i is a bit harsh. The 330e, well the There is the fact that I don't know. Maybe they re- they they change the suspension to to accommodate the weight of the battery. Yeah, the mm. Tito E felt comfortable. The Tito I mm. felt a bit harsh. Oh yes, I, I think it's the suspension it's, setup, lah. Yeah, the Tito O I, yeah, yeah. Tito O I is M Sport suspension, right? M Sport passive suspension, somehow. Yeah, mm. correct. Mm. So that's why it is, huh? Buy any is fine, I guess. Size is only a yeah. size issue. Yeah. Can't go wrong. <clears throat> um, all space take one or R line. R line, R line for me. R line. That you know that day I was I was speaking with one of uh, a friend of mine lah who watched all our videos, and he came to the same conclusion. He went to shop for he was shopping for SUV and then he went to the Volkswagen showroom. So he tested the one point four. Okay, one point four, not bad. Then he, then he also, then he tested the two point It's like, you know, they come to realize that, you know, actually, right, that small, that price increase between the one point four and the two point is very justified, because yep. you convert it to your monthly repayments. It's not a big in difference, but you get so much more in performance. You get two extra driven wheels, and you know, a a, a more nicely dressed car. The one point four in isolation actually is. It's pretty all right, also. But I will oh, go for the the the, the 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 R9 is two liter, huh? Two liter, yes. Two hundred. What's the price difference, huh? What's the price huh? difference between the two of them? What's the price difference? The uh, it's about forty grand. Okay. Hmm. It's all right. So, hmm. yep. The one point four is all right in isolation, but once you yep. go into the two point zero, right, you'll be like, you know, you you will feel very tempted to meet that difference. Mm. You get so you know much what? more for that forty thousand, right? Yeah, you know what, yeah. Con? Forty thousand, right? It's also the difference between a uh, a two liter Accord and a two point four Accord last time. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One thirty, one seventy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Go for the R line. R line. R line. Anytime. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Second hand A three. Huh? Oh, so cheap, man! I thought it's sixty k. I thought sixty k. Sure, at this price, one, but one point four. One point four. One point four. Wow! If yeah. if if forty five grand can buy all. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If if it can, if can find the one point eight, get the one point eight, lah. Yeah. This this girl was asking also. So she. Yeah. A three one point eight. Good buy. This is a good buy. Yeah, some more yeah, got control. Yeah, oh. yes, yes. Yeah, got control. This one. Yeah, one point eight. Ah, 
Yes. The cheapest A3 I can find of any model year is 63,000. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And it's the 1.4. And this car drives mm. well because it's a MQB platform car. It's a golf underneath. Mm. Correct. <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah, it handles really well. Yeah. yeah, it handles well. This is a save me SOS question. Two years, he hasn't come back to Malaysia yet. I'm back soon. For two years, this is a brand new 219 car he bought. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, wow. so, so I, I, it's sad, lah, but um, sent to Peugeot and... Uh, get it service and stuff. But I think my, my, my fear personally will be, number one is, if I had parked the car without the full tank of oil, uh, of, of petrol, moisture can get in and then your car may have issues in the fuel. So you've got to flush the fuel That's out. just the start. The start, you know. Battery, I don't really care. Like, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure right now. Yeah. Um, uh, the tire, the tire yeah. also I feel potentially also yeah. quite sad. Uh, the you know the past car. The past one month, right, uh, yeah. my landlord, Prestige, has referred two cars to me. Uh, Both cars were parked under the sun for the, a time frame of years. Uh, and, you know, it's like water seeped in through the door seals into the cabin and flooded the cabin. Wow. wow. Oh, the, the, the V12 7 Series. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Okay, I I, I I will suggest Joseph, if you can, sell the car. <laughs> because if you if you if you think about it, right, the battery, four tires, uh, then you need to change all the oil, all your uh, bushes, all grass radio yeah. and confirm. You're gonna flush out like your fuel, fuel, and that and that yeah. means your fuel filter gone. Fuel filters, uh, like I know like some guys, the Audi Audi group, uh, a lot mm. of them, uh, on the first MC they came out, they came back. Uh, a lot of the cars were gone. A few filters was damaged. Yeah. Like one year plus I used the car, the car couldn't use it. Wow, two two gone. years never started though. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. I feel for you, brother. I feel for you. <laughs> yeah. Sell it. Uh, yeah, two, years, two years of depreciation. Yeah. Actually, there are a lot of these type of cars uh, out in JB. Yeah. You, know. you go to the JB yeah. condo. Uh, wow. Ooh. So you want to rent what? A lot of this type of car. Yeah, our yeah, friend. Yeah. Yes. The day he was asking yeah. me about tires really, Sean Tan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. feel so sad, man. Yeah. yeah. Feel for you guys. Yeah. Mm. And it's a Peugeot. If it's a Toyota, we would just say, start it low. <laughs> <laughs> Put the battery and start it. <laughs> and, and, and another thing you have to watch out for, huh? Mm. Chances are maybe rats even 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 yeah. put make nest in there already. Oh <laughs> yeah, animals would have made it a nest definitely. Even, even at the turbo, you know, the turbo could lose what they call oil. The turbo, uh, don't try to drive it too fast. Start the car, um, up, you know, because oil the turbo could be an issue. You know, mm. uh, basically yeah. just just take it to. The I mean, basically you got yeah yeah correct a lot, do, a, do a full transfusion of fluids correct mm. just just get all the fluids out you know re, yep. reflush all of them change the tires you know check everything yep. wow a lot a lot yeah you know? yeah this guy also kept the car in the porch it's an old uh sierra stability not used mm. should i sell the car you don't use it sell it yeah it is well that's the second gen one the prettiest one. Lah. Oh, that's the one I like. Hmm. Yeah, the prettiest uh, one. Yeah, but the prettiest I, I, I'm, I'm with Anna on this. Um, hmm. if I, I believe a car should be used. If you're not using it, just just let, let go find let find a new home. Yeah. Yep. But did, did he mention he's not using the... Or, 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 or he's not yeah, using it. Not using it. Actually, your city? For me, X50, uh, yeah. but the city also got all the new safety thing, right? Yeah. 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 I think 170 for... horsepower or X50. Yeah. Visibility-wise, I think the X50 is better. Like. Game day, going out, SUV kind of thing. Maybe. It's that nice to drive with. It's, it's nice. I, I like the yeah. X50 more than the X70, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm. Fantastic car. Fantastic little car. Mm. Okay. Um, got some other questions here. How long gonna go? I got quite a bit. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot of questions. 16. F30 TTI, Christine, F30 Grand Coupe, CBU. Four Mike. series, la, for me. Four series Grand Coupe, damn no. rare. This car is damn rare. No. But different pricing. Or rare. Well, if you can up between the both, then he can afford the more expensive yeah. one. Now. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. But for some reason, uh, the F30 T33OI uh, holds the value well. Because there are so few of them. Correct. It holds the value very well. But, but, mm. but um, Mike, the, the F3OI, yep. uh, or the 4 the 4 3 uh, isn't yep. uh, the B48 engine, right? It's actually an older... B48, engine. bro. B48. Uh, B48, B48 and yeah, 2016. 2016, I think. 2016, yeah. they, they facelifted. The F3 yeah. did. Yeah. Cross release yeah. also? Yeah. Yep. Should be. Uh. Should be the same engine. Uh. Yeah. 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 So, AI means it's the B48. Yeah, I, yeah. I have a feeling it's not, but I can be wrong. Uh. Okay. Um, Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I just go to the toilet. Okay. But it's a it's a it's a very rare car. I I I, I will get the Grand Coupe You know, it's, mm. it 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 looks like a more handsome three series. You know, like mm. like if you compare Obi, yeah, the difference really, yeah, the yeah. slope line in the back, and then the then the side, the um, uh, that 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 fin, the thing on the side there. And then the frameless doors, and then the lift back. It mm. has a lift back. Yeah. So you actually open the entire hatch. Mm. And then when you put the seats down, you can load so many things in there. When we bought the F30, I showed my wife the, the, the uh, 428. So mm. compared, what do you want to get? Which one do you prefer? Say, so this is the price, this is the price. Why was I typical? I said, like, look the same, only, ma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like women showing us two handbags, right? Which one yeah. here? Uh, <laughs> same money, <one>. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean get the get the four series grand coupe. It's a discontinued model, you know, so rare. Mm. Frameless doors. It's, you know, people will be like, hey, why your three series is frameless door? Uh you know, that's 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 nice, you know. Mm. <laughs> oh, Oh, my three series is frameless door. Your three series got just a small boot. Nah. Mine is a, you know, a, a, a hatch. Yeah, yeah. So nice. Okay. X3 or T3O? Which one is better for delay drive? Daily. X3. X3, X3, yeah. X3, yeah. I guess no the SUV challenge. is more practical, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Definitely. No challenge there. Okay. Makan, anyone? Any, any thoughts? Diesel or the base model 2.0? I'll go with I, diesel. I'll go with diesel also. Mm. In this kind in this comparison, I'm a petrol guy. The the, the base model 2.0 felt uh, very revy. Like. Yes, like it revs a lot. It's mm. nice. But the handling is good, but I just felt mm. like I'm revving a lot like, like I work so much. The whole thing feels out. light. The whole thing feels yeah. light. It feels like a it golf like GTI. A, yes. Yes. Yeah. Spot on. It felt like it a feels golf like GTI. a golf GTI. Wonder, so why, nice eh? huh? <laughs> Wonder why? Huh? Wonder why? Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got. Uh, hi there. Will 40k extra to go for latest Tiguan 2.0 all-wheel drive against the 1.4 all-wheel drive? Thank you. Currently have a CX5 2.5 NA. To change the Tiguan 1.4 is reasonable. Company asked change new car. Wow. Company asked to change new car. Well, we two answer, la, get a two liter. La. I answer, we answered this before, so yeah, the two liter mm. Tiguan. Mm. Uh, okay. Get the two liter. Um, Okay, we're going to wrap up with the last few questions. I think it's for the day. Yep. Anything yep. particular you want to take up? Okay, brother Korn, good business. Okay, uh, my Papa 8, especially. Oh, well, especially. Wow. Come, come, come. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, especially. This, this is slowly building up. So uh, right now, I am, I'm, well, I'm actively hiring new members into the, into yeah. the team. 
Uh, tomorrow I have two new guys coming in for trials, so uh, yeah. more hands on deck, so can output more cars, lor. Right now, uh, yeah, right now my team is actually like, like working, you know, like from start to finish. There's there's cars coming. There are cars coming in at, at just the right pace to to keep them busy, lah. There were a couple Paul, of days Paul. where we actually, yeah. No, I was saying that to help your team better prepare for a four five eight speciale, right? Mm -hmm. You you show them a picture of the four five eight, and then you ask them, "Ini mahal kan? Itu ada dua garis punya. Satu boleh beli tiga biji ini. Yeah, one speciale is worth three four five eights." <laughs> the question is earlier about the A3, yeah? so the guy is sold by a relative. Oh, I suppose you have bought, and then uh, this one is cheap, lah. But oh. I think it's fixed, lah. If it's fixed, it's fixed, mm. I would say. Oh, well, I mean, it's and it checked out. Come, okay. come and see my Mac Yap in, in, uh, yeah. uh, in the workshop. Can yeah. we uh, look at the, the, the board? It looks, it looks like yep. the ECU, right? No? As long uh, as yeah, we... board, get a get get someone to diagnose that board. I mean, if it runs without error codes, then it'd be fine. Yep. Mm. Why not, man? Good bargain. Forty-five okay. kg uh, for mm. a three. Okay. Last question for the day, Henry Wei. Two seventy Mini Cooper three dot uh, JCW or twenty seventeen Audi TT. Fun car to drive. What is fun? Both are fun. Uh, different I fun. Know which one I will go? I know which way I'll go. Which way Mike will go? <laughs> VNG Mike will, group. Uh, <laughs> Mike will buy Mini Cooper, I think. I'll go BMW group, not like that. What do you think I'll buy, Bobby? <laughs> I I will always believe you are a VNG group fan. Uh. But I'm a driver first, also actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but the, the 2017 JCW is not hardcore at all, right? Con, it's like, yeah, it's like what? Not even 200 I, horsepower. Hmm? I think it's it watered la. down, la. Watered down, la, You know. Yeah, uh, it's watered JCW, down. Ah, uh, JCW brand, uh, You know, has been watered mm. down, la, you know? Unfortunately, down. Mm, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. For it's me, not it's as hardcore like, as, as the old JCW manual, you know. Ah, the it's one just really... the everywhere and then a slight uptune in horsepower. Yeah. That's about it. And then the suspension is also really hardcore, you know, the JCW. Uh. Mm -hmm. Looking for a fun car to drive below 200k. So, you guys? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, no, lah. <laughs> Price range, uh, I think at the price range, you can't get a quattro. That's my only problem. Yeah, so JCW for me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for the sheer fact, it's not a quattro. Yeah. The TT is not my choice. No. And for mm. me, yeah, uh, the yep. this TT, uh, you know, it's a bit yep. disappointing uh, with the right and handling. I hate it actually. Mm. Ah, the car rides so hard, and you know, I do not know why. Ouch. Yes, mm. yes, and the car bounces on certain of our animation and certain bumps. Uh. Yeah. But the uh, TTS, nice. TTS, TTS, no problem. TTS, TTS no problem. Simple. Absolutely no problem with the suspension. So, but so if, if you can afford TT, if you can afford 230k, yes. fantastic. The TTS yep. can buy to yep. 230. Uh, the TT, yes. TTS, mm, yes. TTS is good. La. This. With this generation Mark III TT, uh, you know, just don't go and buy the normal TT. Uh, you know. Oh, oh I found a TTS below 200k. Whoa! Seriously? Seriously uh? TTS below wow. 200k. Wow. <laughs> Jiang, show it. Pew! Faster. Pew, 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 pew. Jeng, jeng, jeng. What's the horsepower of this? 265. Uh? Should be a 250. Is it? This one is uh, Mark oh. Francis. Yeah, same as same Mark goal. Francis. Yes. Car, right? Wow. Yeah. No, it should, be, it should be 310. Cool. Should be 310. 
This is good. Yeah, should be a three hundred. Golf R engine, right? Golf R engine. Yes. 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 But oh, six speed, ah. Six speed. Six speed. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, six speed. Uh, six speed. Yeah. Astronic. Yes, it should be a six speed. Oh, yo. Well, Audi magnetic, where? right? Uh, yeah, one, this, this one, one is all magnetic, uh, right? Uh, this one can buy. Yeah. This one can buy. Oh. Okay, la, this one, this one also, uh, also no uh, contest. Uh. Uh, this one I will I go mean, for it. I mean, it's a bit older than your 217 <laughs> TT, but it's yeah. worth getting the 215 because why? Oh, this is worth. Auto, this, this is better worth. Spec, better, the, the, even the engine internals, uh, yes, it can, it can, can handle higher stress compared to the uh, your your normal 2.0. Uh, yep. Easy to tune, everything like yeah. that. And I love this interior. This interior is beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Very good. So yes. beautiful. It's it's even nicer than the than the Cayman interior. You know? This interior is so you nice. Know, yes. Basically, right? Awesome. If you are if you are just a normal TT 2.0 Quattro, I'll say no lah, go for the JCW. But this against the JCW, I'll go for this any day. No, but the yep. 2.0, I think no Quattro, right? Very, I think the ones are in Malaysia all are not Quattro. It depends on 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 what lah, on you need to use it. Look like. at the quilted seats on this. Oh yes, the seats interior interior seat. Oh, My God, seats. it's beautiful. beautiful. Really, uh, Audi cabins are so damn nice. Eh? I, yeah, I look mean, at the air vents, I mean, uh, the air vents, I, I yeah. know, and then uh, the, the LCD in the middle of the air vents, so yes. damn nice. Way eh? this interior, I don't know why Audi did not cross share it to other other models. Uh. That is so I, clever, right? The dial with, yes, the, yes. with the LCD, very nice, the, yes, so damn nice. And uh, also, you know, in the in the middle dials, you you mm. can uh, adjust the events. Yeah. Bobby, mm. think, think think about this, sir. Uh. That's mm. a two fifteen Audi TT. That mm. display from Audi TT compared to a brand new G twenty G thirty display. What this can do and what the BF can do. World exactly. Yeah. Audi exactly. is so far advanced compared to BMW. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Crazy. Yeah, this car would just change the rims, lah. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't click for me. But that's <laughs> that's but this is a this is a very very common rim that is put on German cars. You know, this design. Yeah, yeah. So them. But rims you don't like is easy to change, law. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a simple part, ma. You know? Yeah. But yeah. He rode two hundred k. This car. Wow. Yeah. Get this, lah. Get this, lah. This one chewed la, you know, chewed mm. la. Mm. Mm. Control. Go for this. Yeah, we are all tired really. Hey, okay. I, I, just wanna, I just want to I just want to say something. I just want to say something like Tana Mike Connor. You know, this even though I, I initially I told you all that today I won't be joining, right? But for me, uh, this is the only time whereby my kids leave me alone. I can sit here <laughs> with I can sit here with car guys and uh, talk for two hours yes. while sitting here having my beer and talking about cars. Oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's so relaxing for me. You know? I, I, I yeah, thank you so yeah. much. You know, it's like it's like my 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 I don't know how to say that. It's it's it, it reset. Really, yeah. Yeah. Normally yeah, when we yeah. stand and talk. During during drives, right? We're standing, mm, yeah. right? It's so tiring, right? Yep. And then we have to mm. think, oh, yo, we need to go home, la, you know, bring breakfast for the family. But here in the middle of the night, like that, oh, you're talking about cars for two hours. Yep. Uh, oh, oh yeah. it heals it I, I, heals I, my soul. It heals my yes, soul. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Same here, Thank you. Same here. Thank you I so much. Thank you so much. I also didn't realize it's eleven forty-five already. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, I've been sleeping an hour earlier. You know, I'm ah. already in bed, snoozing away already, usually. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, thank and you we're, helping having... people. we're helping people. It's so nice. We're helping people. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. Maybe we and, should uh... just take one one last question lah, uh, before we... <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mike, you take lah. Mike, pick. Okay, lah, Mike, pick lah. I saw this. Ooh, I saw this. Go and buy it. Bye. Seriously. Bye. BMW will never repeat it again. Yeah. Yes. 
never repeat this again. Bonkers car. Ah, the V10 scream. You know, I I I really want a V10. You know, I was like, yeah, I want a V10. Yep. No, I, I, I want all my cars NA now. I want all my cars to be NA. You know, I don't want turbos anymore. Like screw turbos. There's a uh, there's a M6 <laughs> uh, red one uh, in pickles mm. option. Mm. Mm. Oh M6, but I don't like the M. I, I okay to be honest, I like the E60 M5 design more than the E63 M6 M6 la. M6 just looks awkward la. That car. Yeah, uh, I like the E60 more lah. Yeah. 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 And uh, the first five, the first ten years of the car, I didn't like it lah. The, uh, the E60. <laughs> Seriously, but now it has grown on me lah. <laughs> oh, the E63 ah. Uh, uh, E60. No, the, ah, the E60. You know, suddenly oh. the car now looks okay ah, to me. My, <laughs> yep. For me, my girl, my yep. poster child BMW that I had yep. that I liked like was. The yep. E60. The E60 ah. was the BM that I like. I don't know why. Uh, to me, that yep. the odd shape uh, was the one that I grew up like. I just love yep. the color, the, the lights, the way it comes down. That was what yep. I like. You know? So, yeah, lah. One day. How about how about each of us take out 25,000 and then we buy a M5 B10? <laughs> Actually, bonkers okay. car. That was really a bonkers be? car. No? Okay. 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 Oh, look at that engine. Oh, yes. look Let's at that. Yes. Only, yes. Only, only one, one, one caveat. Can yes. you also buy a normal uh, 5 to OI for the uh, number number plate? <laughs> uh, it's so nice, lah. Very very nice. It's yeah. Very, and then nice. and then and then when it breaks down on whose hand, that person needs to pay for it. Oh. <laughs> 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 then then Tana will tell Mike, 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 you have it for the first year. <laughs> <laughs> you run workshop, ma. Yeah, you go workshop, ma. Yeah, running for the first year, lah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but, but I agree with you, lah, Bobby. You know, the, mm. you know, after driving so many cars, uh, you know, it's still mm. I still love the NA response, lah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah NA man. is NA is always NA, lah. Mm. And yeah, la, you know, the especially big cylinder, thing. yeah, big cylinder, six cylinder onwards and a yeah, it's just so it's upwards, uh. mm. yeah. it's upwards, uh. ah. it's like it's like the, the, the RSX, I don't dare to full throttle it. <laughs> I I totally don't dare to full throttle it. It's just it's just ridiculously yeah, that, fast. It's yeah, crazy. The amount of talk, uh. The oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, like I mean, how much power do you actually need in that zero to hundred? I don't know, man. I think realistically, we only need about four hundred horsepower. To be honest, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's very true, yeah. uh, Bobby. Mm. Anything more? Is think, just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, la. yeah la. My skill yeah. going up, getting ah, uh, three hundred uh, horses is very overwhelming <laughs> for my skill set. <laughs> Depends uh, if it's NA, you know, 400, 450 still still manageable. Uh, right? Yes, correct. Bugger when it's turbo, uh, 350, 400, yeah. you, you're going to unsettle that, the car balance already. The because most because with turbo, you have a lot more torque. Yeah, the torque. Yeah. Uh, torque is what overwhelms your traction. Yes. On, yes. on, on the Aston, uh, I can comfortably full throttle so many, many times because it builds. Yes. Instead yep. of explodes, you know. Mm. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's just like today I drove uh, the 993, right? It's the the way the engine responds and builds up, right? If you really want to full throttle, uh, you you are not that scared, you know. I mean, assuming you also mm. be stable with and uh, yes. how you put it and with your steering inputs. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I think for me, yeah, like driving a, a my 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 early A6 hybrid. 
power is there, I tune the car, I press, power comes in, the sound is there, everything is there, it's there, like, no, but it robs you of the excitement. That's why it's, it happens so quickly that you don't have time to enjoy that power or the sound, yep. you know? When yep. you build mm. the power, like by now, Porsche, you go and then you change gear, you change gear, you get to experience that one, two seconds of power. So that's yeah. more fulfilling than power, mm. speed, yeah, man. Yeah. And then with an NA car, you got to go mm. into the corner with the right gear. Yeah. Mm. Especially yeah. the older NAs. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So if you go into a gear, suddenly you're 2000 RPM, uh, you get bogged down already. You know, so you yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you press the throttle, or uh... <laughs> not like the <double> <laughs> car, the, the boost just comes on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yep. okay guys. Let's mm. end the show. Uh, All right. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yep. Good night. Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much, guys. Good night. Yeah. Catch you guys and in thanks, the weekend. Jiang. Yep. Mm. Thanks, Jian. Thank you, Jian. All right. Good night, guys. Yeah. You know. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Good night. Jian, you there? Thank <laughs> you.